Chapter 3321 Whale Absorption Mo Yan's 10,000 Devil Diagram on His Wings Ignited, and His Aura Grew Explosively. His spear then stabbed through the air with a sonic boom. He seemed to have gone insane. Killing intent exploded out of his eyes, and his hair flew wildly in the wind. At the same time, Black Kai poured out of the spatial gate. It was like a sea was being poured out. The pressure of an entire world followed Mo Yan. Gold and dragon battle armor. After that, the roar of a dragon resounded throughout the nine heavens. When golden dragon scales covered Long Chen from head to toe, the holy aura of a true dragon radiated out. Boom! Long Chen slashed his saber down in the face of Mo Yan's attack. This time, everyone felt like they witnessed a sun exploding. The blinding light stabbed into their eyes. They instantly lost their sight, and following that, they felt like a hammer had struck them. They flew back, blood spraying out of their mouths. A terrible Kai wave spread. Countless people were unable to resist it and were directly blown out of the barrier. Even those standing far away were horrified by the shock waves of this battle. What kind of power is this? Countless experts were knocked out of the barrier. At this time, it was possible to see who was a true expert. There were dozens of figures that appeared within the core region after the ripples passed. Even after that terrifying shock wave, they were like boulders. Other than them, there were millions of experts still bitterly enduring around the middle and quite a few people at the edges trying just to stay within the barrier, grabbing as many rainbow hide ranges as they could. As for the weakest batch, which was also the largest batch, they were directly blown out of the barrier. Outside of the barrier, they couldn't even absorb a single rainbow hydrangea. How can the difference be so great? People cried out unwillingly. Many people hadn't managed to absorb a rainbow hydrangea. Absorbing even one would be good. As for the heavenly rainbow flame, fine, they didn't want it. But if they didn't even get a single rainbow hydrangea, how could they even have the face to return to their sects? Did they come from so far just to be extras? These four peak experts were all prideful. Now that they were forcibly pushed out, they clenched their teeth furiously and charged back into the barrier. To them, just absorbing a single rainbow hydrangea would be enough. Just then, three more huge explosions erupted. Long Chen and Mo Yan exchanged three blows. Everyone could hear a brilliant dragon cry mixed with a devil's roar. After that, astral winds buffeted the inside of the barrier. Countless disciples that had just charged back into the barrier were directly blown out again. They tumbled into the distance, coughing up blood. Fuck. I'm not playing with this bullshit anymore, all right. Fuck. A four-peak primal directly broke out into curses, feeling like he had gone crazy. The difference was too great. Countless people also cursed resentfully. All they wanted was a single rainbow hydrangea to give an explanation to their sects. But now, they were unable to obtain even a single one. Just grabbing one was as difficult as ascending the heavens. This drove them crazy. Seeing this, quite a few of the elder immortal kings called their disciples back, afraid that they might force things and charge back in only to be killed for nothing. With the call of their elders, it could be said that they had gained a way out. Hence, many people gave up and returned to the side of their elders, becoming nothing more than spectators. However, the majority of them still refused to give up. As primals, they were arrogant and refused to accept this. No matter what, they had to obtain one rainbow hydrangea. Otherwise, it would be an absolute disgrace. They could not accept such a thing. Countless disciples continued to pour back in. It was like they were watching the tide. When the tide was weak, they charged in and tried to grab a rainbow hydrangea. Then they were blown back out. Ninety percent of the competitors had been forced to the edge of the barrier and were either bitterly enduring or being blown out repeatedly. 
but people's attention was focused on the core area. Heavens, there are twenty-three figures still in the core. They can resist these Kai waves. They are probably all existences on that level. As Long Chen and Mo Yam fought, not that far from them, there were twenty-three figures watching. The terrifying Kai waves shattered mountains but were unable to shake them. Within that region, they saw the nine underworld halls Tian Mo, as well as two other human experts. But those two were not recognized by the spectators. They were very likely from beyond this heaven. There were only three humans in that group. The rest all possessed particular R's. Even just from their appearance, it was possible to tell that they were from the human race. Adding in Long Chen and Mo Yan, there were only twenty-five people remaining in the core and only four humans. That made the human race's experts worry. Other than Mo Yan and that expert from the netherworld, quite a few life forms possessed dark Kai. They were originally hiding in the void, but with Long Chen and Mo Yan's intense fight, space was not stable enough for them to remain concealed. Boot! The world shook, and Mo Yan coughed up a mouthful of blood. On the eighteenth exchange, without any flashy moves, he was finally defeated. All eighteen exchanges were competitions of pure power, but ultimately, it was Mo Yan who couldn't endure. The eighteen attacks were launched consecutively with no chance to breathe. This was a competition of power and endurance. Normally, unleashing such a terrifying attack or receiving such an attack would require recovering from it afterward. It was difficult to unleash such an attack twice in a row. So, for them to unleash exchanges like that eighteen times in a row shook people. This power had surpassed the scope of their understanding. This is your so-called power, the superiority you are so proud of. You dare to come out with just this little bit of ability? I am curious, how did you manage to live for so long? Asked Long Chen. Even after forcing Mo Yan back, Long Chen didn't press his advantage. He continued to rest his saber on his shoulder, staring down his nose at Mo Yan, shaking his head. His disdain was overflowing. Heavens, when did our human race produce such a monster? Seeing Long Chen reign supreme, people were shocked and delighted. The fight between Long Chen and Mo Yan was not as simple as a fight between the two of them. It was a fight between the human race and the devil race. It was related to the human race's glory. Long Chen's divine ring continued to absorb the rainbow height ranges. There was a veritable sea of flowers within his divine ring, and yet he didn't seem to be planning on stopping. Right now, the person to absorb the second most rainbow hydrangeas was the feather race's Kan Wu. However, he had just gotten over ten thousand. As for Long Chen, he was like a whale sucking in water. He already had hundreds of thousands of rainbow hydrangeas, practically equal to the sum of all the rainbow hydrangeas that everyone else had gathered. At this time, those experts watching the fight started to grow antsy. Chapter 3322 Mo Yan Retreats Does this fellow not know how to hold back? Seeing Long Chen recklessly absorbing all those rainbow hydrangeas, Bai Shishi was speechless. Was he intentionally making a target of himself? It was far too early. As Long Chen's sea of flowers continued to grow, no one was willing to just watch as he did this. He was practically cheating. Actually, Long Chen had his own secret troubles with absorbing these rainbow hydrangeas so brazenly. The heavenly rainbow fairy had said that he had no destiny with a heavenly rainbow flame which made it difficult for him to obtain. If he wanted to obtain it, he had to do something shocking, something big. Otherwise, all his work would be for nothing. Even if he had to make a target of himself, there was nothing else he could do. Despicable human race, if I wasn't restricted by the laws here, would you be able to receive a single blow from me? roared Mo Yan furiously. He seemed to have gone insane. 
the spatial gate behind him had been fully opened and devil kai gushed out of it he needed enough devil kai from it in order to unleash his power from his tone it seemed that he was unable to unleash much of his power due to the suppression of the laws here which was why he was so suffocated t c h so you're going to make excuses for yourself after saying so many big words you can't take them back you're going to blame everyone but yourself i really look down on you long chen curled his lips disdainfully if you have guts then come fight me in the devil world roared mo yan since you dare to come to the immortal world so arrogantly i don't believe that you didn't come prepared what after being slapped in the face you have to find excuses for yourself is one of those excuses something like you're constipated asked long chen disdainfully you're really pissing me off mo yan raised his head and roared his furious appearance shocked people even the spectators were stunned by this reaction a heavenly genius from the mo Qi race possessing the devil race's imperial bloodline was actually angered to this extent keep acting you're roaring so much but not attacking isn't that because you want more of the devil world's aura to enter the immortal world at that time you'll be able to unleash a bit more power but do you really think that he would be able to beat me then it's a nice plan by stalling for time you can accumulate more power and the more rainbow hydrangeas that i absorb the more others will grow impatient then you can attack me together saving yourself quite some effort when the heavenly rainbow flame appears you can unleash your surprising new power that's the real competition little fellow your scheming isn't bad long chen smiled indifferently when long chen said this everyone was shocked long chen's vision was quite sharp it truly seemed that this was the most advantageous plan for mo yan if that really was the case then it meant that mo yan was regretting being the first one to challenge long chen now he was caught in a tough situation although he appeared wild with fury he hadn't lost his mind his ultimate goal was still the heavenly rainbow flame so he didn't want to fully reveal all his trump cards right now if he did he would be lacking the power to compete for the heavenly rainbow flame then he would have helped others for no reason even if he did kill long chen it wouldn't be worth it everyone then looked at long chen with approval even some old foxes that had lived for countless years were unable to so quickly see through the truth within a battle of this scale long chen was able to maintain absolute commis and deduce the truth smartly just this one point was something not many people were capable of however the truth was that they had overestimated him how could long chen even have the desire to analyze this it was simply that he had experienced the schemes and treachery of so many people that he instantly knew mo yan was faking his anger and why he would do such a thing it was simply experience at the same time as they felt admiration for long chen they were even more shocked inside if long chen's words were true then that entire battle just now could only be considered probing blows mo yan had found that his expectations were wrong and defeating long chen was not going to be as simple as he thought that was why he was playing around with such a scheme in other words it meant that mo yan's true trump cards hadn't appeared yet he wanted to borrow everyone's power to beat long chen while he conserved his power even a battle of this level was still not their full power that made people's jaws drop especially those heavenly geniuses who had given up after being repeatedly blasted out of the barrier by the kai waves of their battle they had an urge to simply kill themselves the difference between them and long chen was even greater than they had imagined at this moment mo yan stopped his roaring and icy killing intent burned in his eyes he was going crazy with rage all his thoughts were read by long chen making him appear as foolish as a child 
What are you looking at me for? Come at me if you want. Have you forgotten how I slapped your face just now? If you're a man, come for revenge. Long Chen sloppily looked at Mo Yan, the very picture of someone who needed a beating. Mo Yan, you wouldn't really be afraid, right? Didn't you say that the heavenly rainbow flame would belong to your devil race? What? Are you going to give up after being slapped? E, I suppose that's interesting as well. The great Moki race is actually just a scary paper tiger, laughed the netherworld expert that had opened his own spatial gate. He made sure to throw stones at Mo Yan while he was down. What a slap in the face. The Moki race is no more than this. You should just leave. Leave your vengeance against him to me. I won't need your Moki race to return the favor either said Kan Wu of the Feather Race, also intentionally provoking Mo Yan. The Mo Qi Race's face has been lost by you. You're still hesitating at such a time. Are you sure that you have the blood of the Mo Qi Race in your veins? said another expert. This one was humanoid, but had a pair of golden eyes that blazed like suns. When he closed and opened them, lightning flickered, this was a terrifying life form of unknown origins. All of these life forms possessed their own powerful origins, and they weren't afraid of the Mo Qi race. Thus, they all started mocking Mo Yan. Mo Yan laughed furiously. Are you trying to scheme against me? Once I kill Long Chen, you'll all benefit. Did you think that your little tricks would work against me? You're too naive. Whether or not we're naive isn't the point. The main thing is that you really are gutless. After being slapped by a human, you're not even fighting back. Hopefully, this matter doesn't reach the Moki race's ears, or they might just slaughter you for the race's honor, mock someone. Ha ha ha, the more you mock me, the more I know not to fall for it. Today, I'm not going to fight. If you want to just watch, then I'll watch too. You can just let Long Chen absorb the rainbow hydrangeas. We'll see just who is afraid of who. Mo Yan actually retreated from the battle. He then sat on top of the Devil World's spatial gate, seemingly intent on not fighting. Now it was a competition to see who would run out of patience first. Everyone was left dumbfounded. Chapter 3323 Full Power Long Chen was practically cheating. His divine ring was sucking in 99% of the rainbow hydrangeas. If this continued, wouldn't everyone simply be offering the heavenly rainbow flame to Long Chen? Mo Yan didn't want to be the one to sacrifice for this. It wasn't that he was afraid of Long Chen, but he didn't feel that it was worth it to kill Long Chen if it meant sacrificing his chance at obtaining the heavenly rainbow flame. It went without saying that Mo Yan possessed quite the restraint. Even after being slapped in the face and mocked by everyone, he could still endure. It truly wasn't something an ordinary heavenly genius was capable of. With Mo Yan not moving, the others were caught in a difficult position. This was a bad position for them. They all wanted to hold back as they all had misgivings about each other. But this would only benefit Long Chen. Fine, why don't we all join forces to kill Long Chen? Once he dies, his hydrangeas will scatter, and we can fight for them using our own abilities, said one of the experts. The others didn't reply. They didn't agree, nor did they disagree. It could be considered a tacit understanding. They truly had no other way of dealing with this. They could all see that Long Chen was powerful enough that anyone who wanted to kill him would have to pay a price. No one wanted to pay that price alone, as that would only benefit others. However, as long as everyone attacked together, they could kill Long Chen without having to pay any price. Then they could compete fairly. No one could take advantage of each other like this. I'm going. Kun Wu was the first to move. His golden saber ignited and with a flap of his wings, he shot toward Long Chen. Mo Yan followed along with the others. 
in that instant by Shi Shi and the others hearts clenched. However, Long Chen had said that Bai Shishi was not to join this battle. She was his life-saving trump card and couldn't be easily exposed. He would signal her when he wanted her to join. Even when facing this many terrifying experts, Long Chen didn't give her the signal. So she could only watch. If she were to get willful and act contrary to his orders, that would definitely draw out a bad reaction from Long Chen. She was caring more and more about Long Chen's opinion. Every single one of those terrifying experts unleashed an aura that was not at all inferior to Mo Yan. The spectators felt like their hearts had stopped beating. The group of dancing clowns. Even if you come together, it means nothing. Long Chen's voice was like thunder in the air, shaking everyone. His voice contained an arrogance, a domineeringness, a will that looked down on all others. Six star battle armor. Long Chen cried out inside, and six stars appeared in his eyes. At the same time, six stars lit up within his divine ring, and a pillar of light soared into the heavens. Long Chen's one hundred eight thousand scales were set ablaze along with the one hundred eight thousand stars burning within him. At this moment, Long Chen was finally using his full power. Boom! Long Chen's aura exploded. Kun Wu was then sent flying with a slash of his saber. The immense power tore apart the void, creating a perception of illusion and reality layering on top of each other and collapsing. People saw a ray of light get blasted out of the barrier. It then pierced through the land, leaving a trail of smoke. After that, it pierced mountains, cut through rivers, and vanished beyond the horizon. In the end, Kun Wu was blasted so far that no one could even sense his aura. As for the others, they were forced back by surging Kai waves. The cultivators that were still bitterly enduring at the edges of the barrier were all forced out. Even by Shishi was unable to protect everyone and had no choice but to retreat out of the barrier. If they forced it, the Yuhua Palace's people would definitely be killed. The world shook and quaked. It felt like the world was flipping around them. This was an aura that no one had ever sensed before. In that instant, both friends and foes shook inside. This kind of power was terrifying. After blasting away Kun Wu, Long Chen raised his head and roared. That roar blew away the clouds and shattered mountains. There was a dragon roar vaguely accompanying it. After that, Long Chen's blood Kai grew stronger and stronger. His aura continued to grow crazily as if there was no limit. Within this giant barrier, only experts on the level of Mo Yan were able to remain. The others were all forced out. Mo Yan and the others were also forced back by Long Chen's aura. Astral winds buffeted them wildly. They were all experts in their own respective domains, but even they had never seen such a terrifying aura. Boss is finally going all out. Our familiar boss is finally back. Kin Feng clenched his fists excitedly. Just seeing Long Chen, like this, set his blood on fire. Ah, I feel like I'm going to explode. I have to do something. Kin Feng's gaze looked around. His battle intent was on fire, and he was like a bloodthirsty beast whose blood had been stimulated. It felt like if he didn't start fighting, he would explode. Kin Feng eyed the devil race's experts in the distance. Exchanging a glance with Kai Yu, both of them nodded. Kai Yu patted Yu Xuan's shoulder. Stay with Fairy Shishi. Don't run around. Before Yu Xuan understood what Kai Yu was going to do, he and Kin Feng took out their weapons and charged at the devil race. Zhu Zixin and Bai Ziol followed them. Dark world devil brats, face your deaths. Kin Feng roared, and he unleashed a wave of saber kai that shook the heavens. With a single blow, dozens of the devil experts were blasted into blood mist. These devil experts were entirely focused on the battle inside the barrier and hadn't expected that anyone would attack them. 
So they were caught off guard. Kin Feng and Kai Yu were both affected by Long Chen's aura. Their eyes were red, and their killing intent overflowed. They charged into the devil race's army, and in the blink of an eye, killed hundreds of them. Just as those devil experts were about to counterattack, space collapsed, forming a giant whirlpool. Three flowers appeared within this whirlpool. As a result, all the devil experts within this region became dazed and sluggish. Kill. These devils were affected by Bai Zayol's pupil art, so their bodies didn't listen to their commands. Taking advantage of this, Kin Feng, Kai Yu, and Zhu Zixin unleashed their powerful attacks, slaughtering them. In this state, those devil experts didn't even move. They just waited to be killed. Tens of thousands of them were killed. The devil experts began to panic. Only now did they realize that they were no longer in the barrier, and there was no longer any devil Kai supporting them. They were completely suppressed by the laws of this place, and their combat power was reduced by at least half. Warriors of the human race, it's time to slay devils. Do you want to stand out? Do you want to make a name for yourselves? Do you want your name to go down in history? Then what are you waiting for? If you miss this chance, you will get another one, shouted Bai Ziol as he continued to form hand seals, using his pupil arts continuously to disturb the devil experts. As if awoken from a dream, the human experts dragged their eyes from the battle in the barrier. Kill! They were killing us so happily just now. Now it's time for revenge. With Bai Ziol's reminder, these human experts, that had been forced to flee and hide from the devil experts, instantly charged. Fuck, I didn't get a single rainbow hide ranger. But slaughtering some enemy life forms would make this trip worth it. Brothers, kill. Following by Zyol's encouragement, the human experts crashed down on the dark world's life forms like the tide. Things instantly became chaotic. Chapter 3324 Who Dares to Touch My Feather Race The human experts pounced upon the dark life forms. Seeing this, the disciples that had returned to the side of their elders and had essentially retreated from the competition for the heavenly rainbow flame grew anxious. If they couldn't obtain the rainbow hydrangeas, then killing a few dark life forms was also good. Even in their old age, they could tell their children and grandchildren that they had slain those dark life forms. That was a glorious achievement. Hence, those disciples joined the battlefield once more. As for their elders, some of them were about to join in as well. After all, killing dark life forms was a matter relating to the entire human race. However, an immortal king said, This is a battlefield for youngsters. We old fellows shouldn't interfere. It's a rare chance for them to temper themselves. Let them kill the devils. True experts are made on the battlefield. Such an opportunity is far too rare. Of course, this opportunity was rare. Let alone these youngsters. Even amongst the senior experts here, only a few of them had ever seen a dark life form before. All their knowledge of the dark life forms came from ancient books and murals. In the current era, it was almost impossible to see them. Although these immortal kings also wanted to join in, not wanting to kill them but capture a few alive to study, with that person saying this, they would be embarrassed to join in and steal glory from their juniors. After all, the human experts outnumbered the dark life forms a hundred to one. Outside of the barrier, the dark life forms were outside of the influence of their spatial gates, and they were suppressed by the immortal world's laws. So, their combat power was less than half of their usual, and they were unable to create any big waves. By Zyle's shout drew in countless human experts. As if afraid that they would get there too late, people charged forward crazily. Blood and flesh flew through the air. The dark life forms fought back, but it was useless. They were outnumbered and overpowered. Now, the human race's experts became fiends demanding their lives. 
It wasn't just the devil race and the life forms of the netherworld. There were other life forms covered in black kai that had been brought by other experts. People didn't recognize their origins, and they didn't say where they were from. But no matter where they were from, as long as they had that dark aura on them, they were indiscriminately slaughtered. Some of the human experts even cut off their heads and hung them on their waists as spoils of battle. That would be what they used to brag about in the future. Some of them were very powerful and instantly racked up multiple heads on their waists. But some also came too late. There were many human experts, and there were no gaps for them to join the battle through. They almost started fighting their comrades just to get to those dark life forms. As they saw that there was no way for them to get in, they directly chose to be shameless, picking up some corpses on the ground. In any case, no one knew who killed what. The battle was so chaotic that they could easily pass the corpses off as their own kill. As long as they brought back those corpses and said that these corpses were killed by them, they would be able to brag about this battle in the future. Those dark life forms roared furiously and tried to return to the barrier, but Long Chen was still unleashing Kai waves. His aura was crazily climbing, so they would always be blown back out. If they forcibly tried to stay in, it would be directly crushed by the pressure. They despaired. Ahead of them was a monster crazily unleashing his aura, Long Chen. Behind them was an endless human army that was like a pack of hungry wolves. There was nowhere for them to go and nothing they could do. They howled and roared as they fought back, but they were unaware that their voices were unable to reach inside the barrier. They were begging for help from their experts, but those experts were completely focused on Long Chen, unable to hear them. The dark life forms began to flee miserably, but there were too many humans. They could not flee. One brave and powerful devil expert charged back into the barrier, but before he could even shout for help, he was instantly crushed by Long Chen's aura. However, his sudden appearance did draw their attention. Only then did they see that their subordinates were being slaughtered by the human race. The spatial gate behind Mo Yan shuddered. A giant hand then reached out toward the outside of the barrier. Seeing that, an immortal king directly activated a king item and attacked the hand. Although these elders weren't participating in this battle, they were still wary. After all, their descendants were fighting. Boom! The hand and the king item clashed, emitting an explosion of light. As a result, the king item was sent flying while its master coughed up blood. In that one attack, he was injured and his king item was destroyed. Its runes faded, stunning the spectators. However, despite their shock, over ten more king items attacked as well. In order to save their disciples, they were even willing to let their king items be damaged. They had to stop that hand. The giant hand quivered from the impact of the first king item. Suddenly, countless black chains shot out of it, wrapping around the devil experts that were being hunted down, dragging them back into the barrier. The human experts grew anxious upon seeing the meat that had just been about to enter their mouths run. The late ones who had activated photographic jades to record them mightily killing these dark life forms were the most panicked. Ignoring everything else, they wanted to stop them from fleeing. Their weapons slashed toward them. Don't! Bai Ziol suddenly shouted. With his three flower pupils, he could see things that others couldn't. Those black chains were made out of millions of runes. They contained a terrifying power. Just as Bai Ziol shouted, the immortal kings also shouted. Those black chains couldn't be dodged. Some people managed to stop themselves, but a few people were too anxious, and their weapons slammed into those devil experts. A black curtain then appeared around those experts. Their weapons struck those curtains, and then their bodies and weapons disintegrated. It was completely silent. They simply died. Seeing those people vanish, 
the other disciples stopped in horror and cold sweat dripped down them this danger came far too suddenly if it hadn't been for by Zayol's warnings they might have died just like them just at this moment spatial gates lit up within the barrier whirlpools appeared and tentacles stretched out dragging the dark life forms into the spatial gates the human experts no longer dared to stop them they fled as far as they could the dark life forms were dragged back into their respective spatial gates as a result people's gazes fell toward the other races remaining their gazes were still that of a sinister wolf that was because these other races had also killed quite a few human experts in the competition for the rainbow hydrangeas the feather race in particular had been the most ferocious previously the human experts had only been killing the dark life forms but now that they were gone these other races were all that remained seeing those hostile gazes the feather races experts felt a chill any one who dares to touch a single hair on the people of my feather race will regret coming to this world i kun Wu, swear this just then kun Wu's icy voice rang out he had finally returned after being sent flying into the distance just as he said this a giant saber image slashed toward him it came incredibly suddenly as a result kun Wu's expression completely changed long chen you dare this attack came from long chen it pierced through space falling toward this place chapter three thousand three hundred twenty five kun wu's fury long chen not only dared but he also did it directly kun wu had just said his vicious words when long chen's saber fell the power of this saber was one that would make gods and devils flee even before it fell space was compressed to the point of solidifying Boom. the saber image pierced through heaven and earth shattering the ten thousand daos causing space to collapse the feather race's experts were annihilated long chen didn't touch a single hair on their heads instead he made sure that not a single hair remained of them as for kun wu when that saber descended he didn't dare to receive it he chose to avoid it however even then he was affected by the saber wind he blocked with his own saber only for his arm to be turned into a bloody pulp his saber was almost knocked out of his grasp this world shaking blow could not be blocked as a result the world lost its color the world lost its sound people merely saw blood mist slowly scattering through the air and kun Wu's arm dripping with blood everyone was stunned this attack was like the wrath of a god in front of it they felt incredibly minuscule they couldn't even muster up the will to resist with one attack hundreds of thousands of feather race experts were slain all that remained was kun Wu alone how could people not be shocked i don't need to hold back at all this feeling really is great long chen clenched his bone saber excitedly he sensed the endless energy surging within his body his one hundred eight thousand stars were exceptionally lively with the devil i water lilies purifying the heavenly Tao energy the heavenly Tao energy poured into his one hundred eight thousand stars his one hundred eight thousand scales and then into his six stars only now did long chen realize that this was his true power previously because he couldn't use heavenly Tao energy a portion of his power was in slumber his six stars his dragon blood battle armor his divine ring and his one hundred eight thousand stars all of them were not at full potential with pure heavenly Tao energy merging with them they were awakened he was like the ruler of the heavenly Tao's even if the heavenly Tao's of the immortal world were still mostly suppressing him it was completely different from before with a bone saber on his shoulder his divine ring slowly revolving behind him his star diagram flickering astral flames burning all around him he was like a battle god descended from the starry sky an undefeatable existence whose pressure shook the nine heavens seeing him like this 
by Shishi's heart quivered. A new light appeared within her beautiful eyes. The current Long Chan was unrivaled. Even amongst these powerful experts, he was like a crane amongst a flock of chickens. No one could cover up his sharp light. During normal times, Long Chen didn't have the slightest air of an expert, nor did he seem to possess the awareness of his position as an expert. He seemed like an ordinary mischievous fellow. However, he also had many masks. There was a humorous one, a scoundrel one, one that made people not know whether to laugh or cry, one that made people clench their teeth angrily. No one knew which side was the real him. It was this unmatched and domineering Long Chen that made her heart shake the most. This was the cultivation world, where the strong were revered. Power was the greatest attraction. It was practically the only standard in the immortal world. It didn't matter if it was a man or woman, as long as they were powerful. Then, no matter how many other flaws they had, it wouldn't cover up their attractiveness. In the cultivation world, it didn't matter if someone was good or bad. As long as they were powerful, they would have a large group of followers. Long Chen. Kun Wu clenched his teeth furiously, flames almost spurting out of his eyes. These people's deaths filled him with pain, causing his fury to explode. He pointed his saber at Long Chen. Do you know that your foolishness will bring a cataclysmic disaster upon your human race? Are you declaring war on my feather race? Is the feather race so amazing? You're nothing more than some mixed race descendants that have forgotten their ancestors. Despite wearing human skin, you only recognize your bird lineage. You keep bringing up the feather race like it means no one can touch you. But wasn't your feather race fine with killing humans in the fight for the rainbow hydrangeas? Why didn't you think that your actions were a declaration of war against the human race? Said Long Chen disdainfully. How can your human race be compared to the great feather race? Shouted Kan Wu. You're right, there is no comparison. That's why I killed all of your bird people for killing a few hundred humans. What, you don't like it? Then come and fight. Let's see if I give a crap about you. It doesn't matter what race you're from. You can act arrogant whenever you want, but don't act arrogant in front of me, because I don't like people being more arrogant than me, said Long Chen indifferently. What was arrogance? This was arrogance. What was domineeringness? This was domineeringness. In front of these dark life forms and other races, only Long Chen dared to say such a thing. These words lit a fire within countless human experts. Throughout history, the human race was always on the weaker side. Since ancient times to the current era, the human race had grown stronger, but they still had to deal with attacks and invasions from other races. Even then, the human race was always forced to fight back. Thus, people were starting to feel inferior to those races. But now Long Chen, a representative of the human race, was so tyrannical in front of all these experts from other races. The human race's experts that had been forced out of the competition because of his aura also felt their resentment fade away. Long Chen continued to absorb the rainbow hydrangeas with his divine ring. Practically all of them fell to him. Furthermore, at this time, the rate at which they fell from the heavens clearly began to slow. In other words, the rainbow hydrangeas were about to stop flailing. Once they stopped descending, it signified that the heavenly rainbow flame would be about to come. Long Chen had obtained so many rainbow hydrangeas, far more than anyone else. He had the highest chance of obtaining the heavenly rainbow flame. From the current position, it seemed that the heavenly rainbow flame choosing Long Chen was something almost set in stone. A group of useless trash. You all want to take advantage of others. Today, I no longer want the heavenly rainbow flame. All I want is to kill Long Chen. Kun Wu was enraged. He saw that the others were still waiting for their opportunity. 
these crafty fellows were all hoping for others to put in the work while they benefited if they still didn't make a move the heavenly rainbow flame would be offered to long chen freely hence kun wu charged back in his manifestation appearing behind it a huge figure appeared within his manifestation the next moment an ancient desolate aura erupted shaking the ten thousand daos endless runes exploded it's the kun startled cries rang out that was a giant fish although it was just an illusion it felt even bigger than an entire world the great khan a species from the desolate era it was so ancient that it was impossible to trace it back to its roots it was said to be able to devour all life forms even dragons were food to it khan Wu's aura instantly changed he stamped on the air and the void collapsed when he shot toward long chen a blood-colored light appeared on his saber chapter three thousand three hundred twenty six fearless you want to kill me just with that little fish behind you are you trying to make me laugh to death let alone you with your slightest trace of the kun's bloodline even if you had the kun peng's bloodline do you think that i'd be afraid while facing kun wu's attack long chen's hot blood surged kun wu's power provoked his battle intent fighting true experts set his blood ablaze Boom. a fearless expert only attacked there was no retreat especially not in the very first clash if someone dodged the very first slash they would clearly appear weaker a silent admittance of having a weaker aura that would only create an opening for killing blows to fall upon them in a battle between true experts it was always a clash of power against power there weren't many tricks to be used those kinds of tricks were always games played by the strong against the weak allowing them to beat their enemies with the least amount of effort at this moment two sabers collided shaking the heavens the stars rocked and the land quaked countless cracks spread in every direction activate the city's grand formation shouted an immortal king this terrifying power might even destroy the capital city this one attack caused heaven and earth to collapse some weaker experts directly fled back to the city only the immortal kings and some powerful heavenly geniuses continued to watch from just outside the barrier strange sounds came from space as the two sabers clashed two immense forces fought against each other space cracked as if it might shatter well kun Wu's body quivered and he was forced back a step with that one step the ground beneath his foot collapsed into a giant hole everyone was shocked by this kun Wu had summoned his great kun manifestation and activated his ancient blood line but he was still suppressed by long chen just how powerful was long chen the power of the great kun it's only at this level compared to my dragon blood you are greatly lacking someone with such an impure bloodline also dares to be arrogant long chen continued to press down on kun wu endless power surged out of him with the support of heavenly dao energy long chen had leaped to a level that even he hadn't dared to imagine it felt like he had limitless power Bullshit. Kun Wu was enraged and shocked. With his great Kun bloodline activated, his current power was even comparable to a spirit tier immortal king. But he was still suppressed. A beast really is a beast. Other than spouting crap from your mouth, do you have no other ability? Long Chen sneered and suddenly pressed down. As the ancient runes on his bone saber lit up, Devil Kai erupted. Kun Wu instantly felt like his arms were about to break. He almost coughed up blood. In all his life, Kun Wu had never experienced such a terrifying power. His great Kun bloodline was unable to bear a single blow in front of Long Chen. Kun Wu was forced further and further back. With every step back he took, the earth beneath him collapsed. Just as Kun Wu was forced further and further back, a spear erupting with devil kai stabbed toward long chen's back 
Mo Yan had joined in. Devil Kai was erupting out of his spatial gate, causing his aura to grow several times stronger. The ten thousand devil diagram on his wings had also changed color. Mo Yan had been unable to unleash his full power as there wasn't enough devil Kai in the immortal world for him to use. But all the devil Kai pouring out his spatial gate finally allowed him to fight at full power. So, right at the start, he launched a killing blow. His spear was like a fiend's fang, and even laws were corroded by it. Does your face not hurt? Long Chen shoved his saber forward, pushing Kan Wu back, and then swung his saber in a strange arc behind him. He didn't even look back. It was like he had an eye on the back of his head. His saber perfectly struck Mo Yan's spear. Mo Yan grunted. After that, his sleeves exploded and blood leaked out of his mouth. He was sent flying. Despicable. Mo Yan was enraged. Long Chen's blow contained Kun Wu's power within it as well. Hence, Mo Yan had essentially received a blow from Long Chen and Kun Wu at the same time. This one attack shattered his insides. If it weren't for the support of all this Devil Kai, allowing him to dispel a bit of this power into the air, that attack could have killed him. Long Chen was truly sinister. Now, Mo Yan even suspected that Long Chen had planned to suppress Kun Wu and absorb his power from the start, just so that he could kill the next unsuspecting attacker. As for Mo Yan, he was the unlucky one to fall for it. Fortunately, he had plenty of Devil Kai. Otherwise, he would already be dead. That enraged him, but also made him feel fear. Mo Yan cursed Long Chen for being despicable, but Long Chen sighed inside regretfully. Mo Yan's power had surpassed his expectations slightly. He had thought that this would be enough to kill him, and then it would be a perfect display. Just then, more attacks rained down upon him. The Netherworld's expert also came charging over. Just like Mo Yan, the Nethergate's spatial gate behind him provided him with endless death kai, causing his aura to be far stronger than before. He was like an entirely different person. Long Chen, if you have butts receive this attack, shouted the Netherworld expert. He had a pitch black rod in his hand and it was covered in strange marks. Death Kai overflowed out of it. Just looking at it terrified others. This was a king item from the netherworld. The rod smashed down, shattering the void. Its power completely sealed all paths of retreat, forcing Long Chen to receive it directly. Normally, Long Chen wouldn't be afraid of receiving such an attack. However, the other experts were also joining in and attacking. If he were to receive this attack directly, then the killing attacks of the others would land at the same time. Against so many attacks from these powerful experts, even he would be killed. How childish! Long Chen sneered. Did they take him for a fool? They were playing such a simple game with him. With the endless death Kai locking him down, Long Chen snorted. Lightning wings spread on his back, and he suddenly shot toward one of the other experts. The netherworld's expert was shocked. Long Chen was able to ignore his lock. To do that at this point, Long Chen's mental energy had to be several times greater than his. Long Chen didn't give them a chance to surround him. He charged toward a life form covered in black scales and slashed his saber. That expert's expression changed. Amongst all of them, Long Chen just had to choose him. Just then, Long Chen's mental lock fell upon him. He didn't dare to flee. So, he smashed his weapon at Long Chen, only for his expression to freeze as soon as their weapons collided. From the start, he hadn't been planning on fighting Long Chen directly. He had been planning on using Long Chen's power to fly back and escape his attack range. Navalun come, however, when their weapons collided, his weapon actually stuck to Long Chen's bone saber like glue. Just as his plan failed, before he could react, 
Long Chen's left hand punched through his head, blasting his head apart and killing him. Chapter 3327 Heavenly Rainbow chooses a master one of the supreme experts was slain by Long Chen just like this. His fresh blood filled the air. However, his blood mist was so dense and didn't scatter for a long time. It was as if his will still remained, unwilling to fade away just like this. Long Chen was too terrifying. His power, speed, reactions, and experience were all at the top. He was practically invulnerable. Just then, rumbling rang out. At some point, the rainbow hydrangeas stopped falling. A rainbow light then appeared in the sky. The heavenly rainbow flame seed. Startled cries rang out. This signified that the heavenly rainbow flame was about to choose a master. Long Chen had endless rainbow hydrangeas behind him. Ninety-nine percent of them had been absorbed by him. Just then, Mo Yan's hydrangeas lit up. A pillar of divine light erupted out of them and landed on the seed of the heavenly rainbow flame. It quivered and also emitted a ray of light that fell on Mo Yan. How can this be? The heavenly rainbow flame is choosing Mo Yan. The human spectators were shocked and enraged. They couldn't believe their eyes. Long Chen had obtained so many rainbow hydrangeas, but he wasn't chosen. Ha ha ha, I am the destined one. The heavenly rainbow flame is mine. Mo Yan laughed excitedly. However, his laughter was suddenly cut off by the stroke of a bone saber. Long Chen shot toward him furiously. He had gathered so many rainbow hydrangeas, but the heavenly rainbow flame actually chose Mo Yan. That was intolerable. Feeling furious, Long Chen shouted, Since you're the destined one, I'll be taking your life. With just you? Keep dreaming. Mo Yan laughed and suddenly formed one-handed seals. Countless runes then lit up on top of his spatial gate. After that, chains shot out and merged into his back. He pointed his spear at Long Chen. Boom! A huge explosion caused all light to vanish from the world. The sun and moon turned dark, and the immense explosion shattered people's eardrums. They were unable to hear anything. This time, the one to be sent flying was Long Chen. Blood dripped down his hand and his bone saber. It was the first time that he was injured today. Ha ha, do you think that I didn't come prepared? No matter how strong you are, Long Chen, you are nothing more than an ant in front of the devil world's laws. Mo Yan laughed, countless black runes appearing all over his body. Every rune contained the laws of the devil Tao. The current Mo Yan had finally used his ultimate trump card. With the support of the devil world's laws, he was unmatched. Just then, the rainbow hydrangeas on his body ignited, and the heavenly rainbow seed in the sky was also burning. He was communing with the heavenly rainbow flame, wanting it to acknowledge him as master. The current me can kill you like killing chickens. You should bless your fortune that I'm obtaining the heavenly rainbow flame right now. I can spare your dog life, laughed Mo Yan. It wasn't that he didn't want to kill Long Chen, but that the support of the devil world's laws had a time limit. He had to finish obtaining the heavenly rainbow flame during this time and leave. Otherwise, he would be doomed once he lost this power and everyone collapsed on him. Not good. That's a barrier made of the devil world's laws. Only earth-tier immortal kings and above can get through it. Even the strongest amongst us are only at the spirit tier. What do we do? Can we only watch as he steals the heavenly rainbow flame? Even if we had an earth tier immortal king, it won't matter. The barrier doesn't permit immortal kings to enter. People were anxious at seeing Mo Yan begin absorbing the heavenly rainbow flame. That was the worst case scenario that they had been hoping to avoid. But anxiousness or panic wouldn't have any use now. Just then, a giant saber image tore into the heavens, stabbing into the starry sky. It's Long Chen. Startled cries rang out. 
Long Chen's illusory saber image gradually grew solemn, and the surrounding stars shuddered. In that instant, a sharp will began to brew. This was an ultimate power capable of cutting through all the bindings of heaven and earth. When this saber image appeared, everyone suddenly felt difficult to breathe. Their souls hurt. Just the aura of this saber image almost made their souls collapse. I, on the other hand, don't wish to spare your dog life. What's so great about the devil world? Sooner or later, my dragonblood legion will trample the devil world. Split the heavens. Long Chen roared, shaking the world. After that, his bone saber slashed down. The giant saber image seemed to bring down the river of stars with it. People felt like the energy of heaven, and earth was sucked up without leaving the drop by this saber. The world changed color. As this saber contained the will to split heaven and earth, all laws collapsed in front of it. Mo Yan's expression changed. Even while being supported by the devil world, he felt a sensation of mortal danger coming from that saber. However, there was no dodging it. So, he howled and absorbed as much power from the spatial gate as possible. The ten thousand devil diagram on his wings then ignited, and he stabbed his spear at Long Chen. Boom! As a result, Mo Yan's wings exploded and the chains on his back disintegrated. Furthermore, half of the spatial gate had collapsed, and half of Mo Yan's body was gone. He was almost killed. After this attack, Long Chen was also knocked back. But he didn't seem injured at all. His lightning wings flapped, and he shot toward Mo Yan again. Now, Mo Yan trembled and a sense of terror appeared in his eyes. Even such a terrifying attack hadn't injured Long Chen. If Long Chen unleashed a similar blow, he would definitely die. Clenching his teeth, Mo Yan suddenly smashed his rainbow hydrangeas with his hand. As they shattered, he failed to gain the heavenly rainbow flame's acknowledgement. The heavenly rainbow flame in the sky then shuddered, and the sea of flowers behind Long Chen lit up. Mo Yan has given up. The heavenly rainbow flame is picking its second choice, Long Chen. Cheers rang out from the human experts. Mo Yan had given up on the heavenly rainbow flame since he was about to be killed. As a result, there was no longer any chance of him obtaining the heavenly rainbow flame. Even if everyone else died, the heavenly rainbow flame wouldn't choose him. However, there was no way around it. He had sacrificed a secret treasure of the devil world to draw the heavenly rainbow flame's attraction. This was a major matter that the devil world had been preparing for countless years. Even so, the result was something that he had never expected. Long Chen actually had the power to break the laws of the devil world. So, in order to protect his life, Mo Yan had no choice but to abandon the heavenly rainbow flame. It was his only option. The heavenly rainbow flame now turned to its second pick, Long Chen. Just as it turned toward him, all the others attacked him. Whoever was chosen by the heavenly rainbow flame would naturally become the biggest target. Long Chen, I, Mo Yan, will definitely kill you today. Mo Yan howled furiously. It was unknown what secret art he used, but his body instantly recovered. He took out a bead. When this bead appeared, devil flames ignited. He then inserted the bead into a notch at the front of his spear. His spear rumbled. It was like an ancient devil beast had awakened. After that, an ominous aura shook people's hearts. He charged at Long Chen. Chapter 3328 Devil World Heavenly Bead Long Chen Watch out! That's a heavenly bead of the devil world. When that bead appeared, one particular elder of the heavenly rainbow domain shouted. This elder's seniority was extremely high. Even amongst the other immortal kings, he was greatly respected. Senior, Long Chen can't hear you. What is that heavenly bead? Asked an immortal king respectfully. 
it is refined from a star of the devil world and could be considered the same as if the entire heavenly rainbow domain was compressed into a bead this bead was clearly refined from a flame star so it was no wonder the heavenly rainbow flame would instantly choose him it's definitely related to that bead long chen has to be careful of it if mo yan detonates it then every one in that barrier will be turned to ash is there any way that we can warn long chen explained the elder anxiously of all the experts present only he knew just how terrifying this bee was if mo yan was pressed then long chen would definitely die hearing that all the immortal kings were shocked it seemed that the devil race had truly come prepared they even brought out such a terrifying treasure however there was nothing that they could do now that those monsters were going all out no other four peak disciples could get close to them the mortal kings also couldn't enter within the barrier long chen was fighting experts from all sides since the heavenly rainbow flame had chosen him he had become the target of all their attacks the most infuriating thing to those outside the barrier was that even the other human experts inside the barrier were joining in on the attacks against long chen they didn't have the slightest mercy on long chen just because they were fellow humans long chen's bone saber danced in the air as he blocked all his attackers only after being chosen by the heavenly rainbow flame did he realized that absorbing it was not so simple merging with it required using a certain amount of core energy during the merger his combat power would definitely be reduced it was no wonder that mo yen had chosen to hide behind a barrier after being chosen these experts seemed to be aware of this and their attacks rained down on long chen not giving him a chance to absorb it if long chen didn't absorb it the heavenly rainbow flame wouldn't belong to him if he did absorb it his power would drop and he would definitely die under their attacks they attacked crazily but they weren't risking their lives against long chen they only wanted to disturb him making it so he didn't have a chance to absorb the heavenly rainbow flame they were waiting for long chen to reveal an opening however amongst them there was one person in particular who stood out that was mo yan his spear was now emitting devil flames with every attack a terrifying divine might exploded mo yan was truly enraged he had lost his chance to obtain the heavenly rainbow flame the preparation of tens of thousands of years the perfect plan that couldn't fail had failed so he cast his resentment and rage on long chen with every single one of his attacks the world shook he was the only one going all out against long chen mo yan roared and once more stabbed his spear forward even before his spear reached long chen the flames had condensed into a giant tip that reached long chen after defending against three consecutive blows long chen's arm shuddered the current mo yan was truly powerful and just as mo yan prepared to attack again the others scattered to avoid being affected at this moment long chen snorted and slashed his saber repeatedly long chen unleashed nine slashes of his saber nine saber images struck the spear but they were all broken apart by mo yan's spear long chen you're definitely dead mo yan roared and continued to attack with the leftover power of his spear but when long chen's saber clashed with the spear a huge explosion rang out this final blow of his was still unable to stop the spear so the spear pierced toward long chen's head just then a lotus mark appeared on long chen's left hand and he grabbed the head of the spear noveloon calm die seeing long chen do that mo yen smiled sinisterly his spear shuddered its power erupting to blast long chen to pieces however at this moment his expression changed his heavenly bead had popped out of the notch in his spear a fist-sized lay linger then giggled as she held the heavenly bead 
After making a face at Mo Yan, she vanished, taking the heavenly bead with her. Without the heavenly bead, the flames of his spear instantly dimmed. As his spear was caught in Long Chen's grasp, that scene left people dumbfounded. Suddenly, Long Chen shoved the spear toward Mo Yan. When Mo Yan was still stunned, the butt of his own spear slammed into his chest. Although it was only the butt of his spear, it was backed by Long Chen's immense power, so it pierced through Mo Yan's chest. This sudden change made everyone jump. Just as Long Chen was about to kill him, his sense of danger went off. As a result, he slashed his saber behind him. A dagger then appeared out of midair, striking the saber. Sparks flew. After that, a figure gradually appeared. It was the Nine Underworld Holes Tian Mo. This distraction allowed Mo Yan to escape his death and take back his spear from Long Chen's hold. Bastard! Traitor! Despicable Nine Star Hunter! Seeing Long Chen be interrupted just as he was about to kill Mo Yan, people loudly cursed. No matter what, shouldn't a first make sure that no outsiders could obtain the heavenly rainbow flame? Even if you wanted to fight for it, you had to wait until Long Chen killed Mo Yan. That was a mortal enemy of the human race. Now, Mo Yan was enraged. His eyes turned blue with fury. He hadn't obtained the heavenly rainbow flame, and now even the devil world's heavenly beat was stolen by Long Chen. Was there anyone in this world as unlucky as him? That heavenly bead was a priceless treasure of the devil world and also something that he depended on to cultivate. He was capable of using it all the way until he ascended to the immortal king realm. Although he had used up some of its power to draw over the heavenly rainbow flame, the remaining energy would still be enough to support him all the way to the immortal king realm. Long Chen, return my heavenly bead. I'll kill you. Having lost the heavenly bead, Mo Yan went completely crazy. His ten thousand devil diagram began to burn. Now, he was willing to ignite his blood soul power just to increase his power. The current Mo Yan looked suicidal. If he didn't kill Long Chen and take back the heavenly bead, his future would be over anyway. He truly was a madman now. If you don't want to lose a main force, you should fight together, said Tan Mo coldly, vanishing back into the void. His meaning was clear. With a madman like Mo Yan going all out, it would be easier for everyone to find openings to kill Long Chen. However, if Mo Yan died and everyone returned to the awkward stalemate where no one was willing to sacrifice themselves, the ultimate winner would be Long Chen. At that time, they would all become stepping stones for Long Chen's rise to fame and the laughing stocks of their respective domains. Boom! He had just vanished into the void when a lightning spear stabbed through the air, causing the void to explode. Tian Mo was then forced out of the void. Of everyone remaining, you will be the first to die. With a lightning spear in his left hand and a bone saber in his right hand, Long Chen's killing intent overflowed as he pointed his weapons at Tian Mo. All the old and new grudges would be settled right here and now. Chapter 3329 Furiously attacking Tian Mo, Long Chen could have killed Mo Yan just now, but Tian Mo just had to interrupt him. When Tian Mo released his aura, Long Chen felt his head buzz. Killing intent exploded out of him. Tian Mo's dagger was infected with the blood of nine star heirs, and their undying will still remain on it. Thus, when Tian Mo activated the power of his dagger, it also released that will, which caused Long Chen to go insane. As a result, heaven and earth changed color. When the stars in the sky vanished, lightning howled. The entire world was covered by a terrifying killing intent. It's here again. Seeing this manifestation, countless experts cried out in shock. Back in the plaza, Long Chen's killing intent had also caused the same kind of phenomenon. Now it was back and was even crasher. The heaven seemed to collapse. Long Chen's killing intent caused everyone to feel terror, 
and members of all races were terrified. Dai Long Chen then roared like a celestial god. His saber slashed down, accompanied by wind and lightning. This saber was something that couldn't be avoided whether you ascended to the heavens or fled to the depths of hell. Seeing Long Chen go crazy, Tian Mo snorted. He then formed one-handed seals as he shouted, Palace Master, hear your followers call. Bestow me your divine power to slay my enemies. A golden figure appeared behind Tian Mo. After that, a terrifying pressure crashed down, one that caused even immortal kings to quiver. They almost prostrated themselves toward it. The divine radiance of a world king, Tian Mo actually summoned the might of a world king, the master of the nine underworld hall that was on the same level as in Puda. Boom! Divine light roared. After that, Long Chen's saber crashed down, and the divine radiance of the world king was blown apart. Long Chen and Tian Mo were both knocked back. Heavens, Long Chen is still fighting evenly against him. That, that's insane. Everyone was shocked. They knew that a world king's divine radiance contained spiritual pressure along with mental pressure. Even immortal kings would be severely affected. For Long Chen to be able to fight Tian Mo equally was astonishing. Split the heavens. With a final step, Long Chen stabilized himself, causing the void to collapse beneath him. A giant saber image then soared into the sky. Long Chen clenched his teeth furiously. He could see a mountain of corpses and a sea of blood behind Tian Mo. Those were the corpses of the nine star heirs that the latter had killed. At that moment, it felt like he was seeing the corpses of dragon blood warriors. He felt an indescribable connection to his fellow nine star heirs, and it was this that drove him crazy. When Long Chen once more activated split the heavens, time and space froze. All the killing intent within heaven and earth was absorbed by his saber. Tian Mo was shocked. He suddenly found that he couldn't possibly block this saber. Terrified, he quickly formed hand seals and rapidly aged by sacrificing his own essence, blood, and longevity. Palace Master Divine Radiance, Nine Underworld God Palm. The divine statue behind Tian Mo glowed. After that, a hand stretched out, and its light condensed into an incomprehensible divine mark. When this palm appeared, the void crumbled. This was no longer Tian Mo's attack, but the attack of a world king. Boop! The saber image smashed into the divine palm. At that exact moment, everyone's vision turned black as the world lost all its color. Following it, within this black world, a speck of light rapidly grew until it illuminated the world once more. The world shook, and laws were in chaos. The very order of the world seemed to be upside down. Within a chaotic flow of space-time, the saber image and the palm vanished simultaneously. Long Chen then coughed up blood, cracks covering his entire body. This was truly an attack containing the power of a world king. It possessed the possibility of killing Long Chen. Under normal circumstances, Long Chen wouldn't receive it directly. However, in his current fury, he felt like if he didn't unleash his rage, he would die holding it back. He could only fight directly. The palace master owed a blood debt to countless nine-star heirs. Facing him, as a fellow nine-star heir, Long Chen couldn't possibly retreat. Tian Mo also coughed up blood. His hair had turned white, and wrinkles covered his face. He instantly aged to the point where he almost looked like a corpse. He had sacrificed his essence blood and longevity to unleash an attack containing the power of a world king. But it still wasn't enough to kill Long Chen. A bone saber stabbed through Tian Mo's chest and out his back. But there was no blood on the blade. That was because Tian Mo had used all his blood. Even if Long Chen didn't kill him, he wouldn't live for long. If Tian Mo had managed to kill Long Chen with that attack, he would immediately flee. 
it was because the nine underworld hall had a secret art to allow him to survive but in return his primal bloodline would fade away he had only used this self-harming trump card because he had no other choice but long chen was merely injured not killed tian mo already gave up hope when he saw that seeing long chen's furious gaze tian mo smiled little fellow even if you kill me it's useless the nine underworld hall has set its sights on you i am nothing more than the seventh rank of the heaven fiend rankings after i die the higher rankings will come for you rank one in particular is the palace master's sole disciple his power is something you can never imagine just wait you will die in endless agony knowing that he was definitely dead tian mo was calm his smile was sinister and his words were like a devil's curse flames of rage burned in long chan's eyes he furiously said since your nine underworld hall wishes to provoke me then there's no need for you to come find me i'll come find you i long chen swear on the stars of the nine heavens that i will slaughter everyone from the nine underworld hall within the nine heavens and ten lands as for your death it will be my declaration of war to the nine underworld hall with a shake of his arm tian mo's withered body exploded however there was no blood mist this time only some white flakes this was a shocking scene to watch the terrifying assassin of the nine underworld hall had been slain by long chen furthermore long chen had blocked the attack containing a world king's power and swore to kill all the nine underworld hunters in the world the nine underworld hall was an existence that countless people couldn't even touch but long chen swore to destroy it if it came from someone else's mouth it would only lead to others scoffing at them however when these words came from long chen's mouth people couldn't help quivering they knew that long chen wasn't saying this as a threat in other words in the future between long chen and the nine underworld hall only one would survive in this world the current long chen was soaked in blood killing intent continued to soar out of him he was like a demon about to slaughter all the life forms of the nine heavens his aura is dropping he's already injured kill him just as people were stunned by long chen's appearance mo yan shouted a reminder to everyone mo yan was the first to shoot toward long chen he could clearly sense that in that last exchange long chen's aura had dropped this was their best chance to kill him mo yan was the one who hated long chen the most amongst everyone with mo yan moving everyone else did as well only when the rainbow hydrangeas scattered with the heavenly rainbow flame choose a new master long chen looked at mo yan coldly it seemed that long chen had no intention of facing him but mo yan felt a chill even his hair stood on end and a sensation of utmost danger filled his heart he instantly got a bad feeling his intuition was screaming at him that long chen was more dangerous than ever at this time halfway toward long chen mo yan suddenly stopped and turned to run unfortunately at this moment a lightning sword stabbed through his back a black robed maiden had silently appeared behind him and the lightning sword was held in her hand favorite chapter three thousand three hundred thirty bloodily fighting all sides this lightning maiden was lei linger she had always been waiting behind long chen as his lightning wings just then when long chen attacked tian mo she silently merged herself into the void mo yan's entire focus had been on long chen moreover the intense sensation of terror had come from the front so mo yan hadn't expected lei linger to attack him from behind he didn't know that with long chen having activated the runes of his bone saber even if mo yan wasn't killed by lei linger he would still die when he ran into long chen mo yan's body then exploded under that black lightning his soul was extinguished now following tan mo's death 
Mo Yan also perished. Right now, Long Chen stepped forward, directly facing those oncoming experts. As his saber slashed down, another split the heavens was coming. No, his saber was pointed toward a certain person. This was one of the few human experts amongst them. When Long Chen's saber locked onto him, he suddenly realized what true terror was. No one around him helped him. That person then exploded. As for his king item, it flew out of his grass and into the distance. Long Chen got out of the blood mist. He was covered in blood, a mix of his and others' blood. Like a divine bird spreading its wings, he shot toward the other human expert. Long Chen, we are both members of the human race. Why don't you kill the others first? Why must you target me? shouted that expert in terror as he fled. The others are enemies of the human race. If they killed me, there would be nothing for me to say. But you join forces with them. That is a betrayal to the human race. If I didn't kill a traitor like you, who would I kill? Long Chen roared, his saber once more slashing down. It was another blow of split the heavens. That expert blocked with all his power, but he was unable to stop the power of split the heavens. So, he was blasted apart. Everyone was stunned by this. Long Chen was wildly violent. He was unleashing such terrifying attacks one after another. Was he really human? Didn't you want to kill me? Since you don't dare to make your move, allow me. Long Chen's gaze was sinister, as if he was possessed by a fiend. Just looking at him made people shiver. Long Chen had taken the initiative to charge at those experts. They were now terrified. They saw that the current Long Chen was practically a madman, killing anyone he caught. Although his aura was plummeting as a result, there was practically no way for them to stop his split the heavens. Hence, they fled in every direction, terrified. Everyone scatter. He's on his last legs. He'll run out of power after just a bit more. At that time, wait, no. One of those experts was shouting, only to end up drawing Long Chen's attention and being killed by a slash of his saber. After that, that expert's saber was about to flee when it was grabbed by Long Chen and tossed into the primal chaos space. Ah! Uh, suddenly, a shocked cry rang out. Another expert had a flame spear piercing through his chest. Behind him was a flame maiden. Just as he was dodging Long Chen, he was struck by Huo Linger. Huo Linger and Lei Linger had joined the battle. They were two pretty maidens, but also life-reaping killers. They possessed undying bodies and didn't emit the auras of humans or other races. It was difficult for others to track them. Lei Linger in particular struck like lightning so fast that others couldn't even see her. Most terrifying of all, with them present on the battlefield, Long Chen became the absolute greatest threat. Anyone he turned his attention to died. Uh, Long Chen was hunting down those terrifying life forms within the barrier. Although his aura was dropping with Lei Linger and Huo Linger's assistance, they were cut down one by one, either by Long Chen's hands or by Lei Linger and Huo Linger's hands. One expert blasted apart Huo Linger, but she simply reformed herself out of the flame runes in the sky. This scene made the others despair. The inside of this barrier was essentially a flame element domain, so Huo Linger was unmatched here. Any energy she used up was quickly restored. Her flame spear clashed with Kun Wu, and then she simply exploded. As a result, Kun Wu was left hacking up blood, injured by this detonation. Just as he was injured, a lightning sword slashed down. He hastily dodged, resulting in his wings being cut off. Lei Linger's lightning sword was incomparably sharp. It contained the destructive power of heavenly tribulation. When she was going all out, even Kan Wu's physical body was unable to endure it. Just as Kan Wu started to panic and tried to escape the two of them, Long Chen killed his third target. These were all supreme experts, 
but they appeared incredibly weak in front of Long Chen. The current Long Chen was the embodiment of a killing god. When he turned his gaze to someone, he would launch a killing blow, even as he was injured more and more from his enemy's death throes, with even his chest pierced by a sharp blade, he still continued to fight. His ruthlessness made people shiver. The thing that made them despair the most was that no matter how grave his wound was, it would rapidly heal. It was as if he possessed an undying body. Long Chen was struck by his opponent's sword, while Long Chen's saber struck the opponent's body. The sword landed on Long Chen's waist, cutting him in two. But Long Chen's saber directly made his opponent's body explode. Exchanging an injury for a life, Long Chen was unstoppable. Long Chen then tossed his opponent's sword into the primal chaos space. Inside, the Wood Foundation divine trees were still as vibrant as ever. There was no sign of them withering. Hence, Long Chen felt no fear when it came to being injured. It was due to this that he chose to use the simplest, most brutal, and most effective method to fight these people. Under the effect of the Golden Dragon Battle Armor, no one was capable of killing him in one blow. As long as he didn't die, his target would definitely die. Thus, this method of exchanging injury to strike his opponent appeared brutal, but Long Chen wasn't in any real danger. However, the spectators were all grimacing at this sight. Long Chen was ferocious, frighteningly so. Currently, only seven of these terrifying experts remained. They were all fleeing from Long Chen. However, all these experts also saw that Long Chen's aura was plummeting as he fought. He definitely couldn't last much longer. Right now, whoever could endure the longest would definitely win. This was the true critical moment. If they lost their cool and directly fled back into their spatial gates, then the heavenly rainbow flame would truly fall into Long Chen's hands. Perhaps in the next second Long Chen would collapse. Hence, right now, they were gambling with their lives, while they knew that Long Chen was gambling with his. It was a competition of who would last longer. The heavenly rainbow flame was too important, so no one was willing to give up on it. This fool, why isn't he letting me fight yet? By she, she clenched the hilt of her sword, her palms sweaty. From the start, Long Chen had not given her the signal to attack. She didn't dare to rashly interfere, but she was starting to panic. She even thought that Long Chen might have forgotten about her. However, she also knew that Long Chen wasn't calling on her despite fighting like this because he was counting on her to save him when the time came. Long Chen had essentially entrusted his life to her, so she didn't dare to make any rash decisions. Suddenly, the entire barrier shuddered. It instantly shrank. Time's up. Long Chen still hasn't finished the process. The heavenly rainbow domain's experts were flabbergasted. After that, they saw an endless tide of strange life forms on the other side of the spatial gates. They came out in droves. Heavens, have the enemy worlds started their invasion? Seeing this endless tide of experts, everyone was alarmed. Warriors of the human race, prepare for battle, shouted an immortal king. Chapter 3331 Destroying Heaven and Earth The barrier was starting to fade. It was what had prevented anyone above the Four Peak Realm from entering, including through the spatial gates. However, now that it was vanishing, everyone could see life forms in the Divine Lord Realm and above within the spatial gates. There were even countless immortal kings. Due to the suppression of the barrier, they hadn't been able to enter. When the barrier vanished, they charged through at Long Chen. The dozens of spatial gates were fully opened, and millions of life forms roared. The remaining experts, being hunted by Long Chen, were rejuvenated upon seeing their reinforcements. Long Chen, your death is at hand, shouted Kun Wu. They continued to entangle Long Chen, not giving him a chance to absorb the heavenly rainbow flame. 
they had finally prevailed. With this giant army pouring through, Long Chen was definitely dead. No one could save him. At this time, those survivors exchanged a glance. Long Chen's death would signify the heavenly rainbow flame choosing another master. No matter who obtained it, they would have countless allies to protect them, and they could make it acknowledge them safely. This bastard, I can't wait any longer. By she, she was so panicked that she was about to cry. Long Chen was now surrounded by an army of millions and millions of enemy experts, but he still wasn't allowing her to join. It couldn't be that he really had forgotten about her right. If she still didn't join in, Long Chen would die. She then pressed down, no longer caring about Long Chen's orders. Just then, a bead appeared in Long Chen's hand, emitting a light as bright as the sun. This was the devil world's heavenly bead. At this moment, the entire world shuddered, and explosive destructive power caused the world to shake. A sensation of death filled this entire world. Not good. He's detonating the heavenly bead. Bun. A devil world's expert spotted the bead, and his soul almost fled in terror. Only the devil world's experts knew just how terrifying it was. This heavenly bead was refined out of an entire star, so it contained endless energy. Even if Mo Yan was alive, he was only capable of absorbing the tiniest bit of its power at a time to cultivate. He didn't have the power to make it detonate. However, now that it had fallen into Long Chen's hands, it had been tossed into the primal chaos space. Its will was erased there, and Huo Linger was able to fully control it. Originally, Long Chen had been planning on having Huo Linger absorb it so that her power could grow again. However, now that he was surrounded by this giant army, he changed ideas. He directly ignited the heavenly bead's power. Fun! The other life forms jumped and fled as fast as they could. But, unfortunately, they were too slow. The heavenly bead started as a tiny sphere of light that instantly grew until its light devoured the dome of the sky. This entire space became a land of death. It didn't matter what life forms they were, and it didn't matter if they were divine lords or immortal kings. In front of that destructive power, they were as weak as ants. Wherever that light touched, nothing remained. A cold wind blew across the battlefield. Bai Shishi had managed to react in time and flee with Bai Ziol and the others, escaping the area of sure death. Fragments of space-time continued to fly in that region. This was the result of a star exploding. After the light was gone, everyone saw Long Chen standing in the air, looking down on the destruction. Long Chen is fine! Startled cries rang out. After detonating the heavenly bead, Long Chen himself was entirely unharmed. That was absolutely shocking. Long Chen naturally wouldn't choose to foolishly die with all of them. He was in full control of the heavenly bee. So, he detonated half of its power, while the other half of it protected him. Naturally, he was unharmed. However, even he was shocked by the power of the heavenly bee. This was true destruction. Just half of its power was able to annihilate all these life forms, instantly emptying this space. Long Chen, don't just stand there. Hurry and absorb the heavenly rainbow flame. There's not much time left. If you don't absorb it still, it will automatically vanish, shouted an elder from the heavenly rainbow domain. Just as he said this, the spatial gates exploded. Giant hands reached toward Long Chen at the same time. After that, the nine heavens rumbled. A horrifying aura made people quiver. They were shocked to find that they could no longer move. The battle had actually startled the terrifying existences of those worlds. The spatial gates were unable to accommodate them, so they could only condense their energy into hands to attack Long Chen. Long Chen was shocked and infuriated. Just what was going on? Was there no end to this? Did it really have to be so difficult for him to obtain a treasure? 
most terrifying of all, when these hands appeared, they completely suppressed the ten thousand downs. It felt like he was in a steel river flowing against him. Moving even a single inch was difficult. These were supreme experts. Even if it was just a portion of their power, it still wasn't something that Long Chen could resist. Hence, Long Chen's fury soared, but he could only watch as those hands descended. Boot! A rainbow divine sword slashed down, blocking those attacks for Long Chen. After that, a peerlessly beautiful woman in rainbow robes appeared. The heavenly rainbow fairy! When she appeared, countless experts watching knelt down and wept tears of emotion. It was the heavenly rainbow fairy. She was actually alive. I can only temporarily block them for you. As for whether or not you have a destiny with the heavenly rainbow flame, you'll have to make that destiny yourself, said the heavenly rainbow fairy. Many thanks. Long Chen was delighted. The heavenly rainbow fairy had suppressed the hands, allowing Long Chen to escape their bindings. He immediately started to absorb the heavenly rainbow flame. Just then, more spatial gates opened within the void. Countless life forms came pouring out. Ahaha, the manty stalks, the cicada, unaware of the aureole behind. Now is the real moment when the heavenly rainbow flame chooses a master. A bald life form with two horns on his head smiled sinisterly at Long Chen. His aura was not at all inferior to Kan Wu Mo Yan Tian Mo and the others. Dozens of experts on that level came out of the spatial gates. They had all been hiding this entire time. Everyone was stunned. They had originally thought that the battle was over only for those black hands to come out along with the heavenly rainbow fairy. Now even more terrifying experts appeared, and the scope was even greater than before. Just what was going on? Boot. Long Chen swung his saber, blocking that horned life form. He then grunted and was forced back several steps. He was severely weakened now. Die. That life form managed to see through Long Chen's condition with this one probing blow. He instantly smiled sinisterly and launched a killing blow. Just then, a golden light streaked through the air like a shooting star. That life form was turned into golden powder that quickly dissipated. I thought that you had forgotten about me. Bai Shishi appeared in front of Long Chen. He had finally given her the signal. Chapter 3330. Too shocking change. How could I do that? Only you have the power to save me here, said Long Chen with a smile. He knew that Bai Shishi was a bit angry. Quickly absorb the heavenly rainbow flame. I'll buy you time, said Bai Shishi. With a single swing of her sword, another terrifying expert was slain by her. After absorbing the metal lily seed and advancing to the late stage of the Four Peak Realm, her metal energy had grown strong enough for her to use the metal sword. This sword of unknown origin could allow her to unleash the maximum power of her metal energy. With this sword, even immortal kings could be slain. Right now, the human race's experts also came charging over. A large battle instantly erupted. These dark life forms were their mortal enemies, so there was no need to hold back. The immortal kings charged in with their disciples. There was an endless tide of enemy experts. But there also wasn't a lack of human experts. Hence, rivers of blood flowed. Boss, quickly absorb it. We'll protect you. Bai Ziol, Kin Feng, Kai Yu, and Zhu Zixin also arrived, guarding the surroundings. With Bai Shishi killing the supreme experts, people were too terrified to get close to Long Chen. Adding on Bai Ziol and the others' protection, Long Chen could calmly absorb the heavenly rainbow flame. Don't fall for it, everyone. Long Chen is an underworld ghost seed. If the heavenly rainbow flame is absorbed by him, it will spell disaster for humanity, shouted someone amongst the crowd. When Kai Yu heard this voice, he turned ashen. 
He clenched his teeth and roared, Jiang Weizhong, you shameless bastard, are you looking to die? Although Jiang Weizhong had changed his voice and disguised himself, the spiritual fluctuations could not escape Kai Yu. He wanted to find Jiang Weizhong right now and tear him to shreds. Who cares if he's an underworld ghost See, Only someone with destiny can obtain the world's natural treasures. The heavenly rainbow flame has yet to accept a master, so everyone still has a chance, sneered another expert, while charging toward the heavenly rainbow flame. The heavenly rainbow flame's seed had descended from the heavens. It was right above their heads. After no one had claimed it for so long, it had started to bloom and was spreading tentacles. Not good. Long Chen suddenly found that after so long, his rainbow hydrangeas were starting to wither. The heavenly rainbow flame was probably about to use another method to find a master. Then all his previous efforts would be for nothing. Boom. Suddenly, a human expert reached out for the bottom of that rainbow lotus. There was an invisible chain there and he cut it. When he cut this chain, Long Chen instantly lost his connection with the heavenly rainbow flame seed, shocking and infuriating him. This human expert was actually such a sinister fellow. He knew more about the heavenly rainbow flame seed than others, and had been hiding this entire time, waiting for this chance. Long Chen, it seems that you really are an underworld ghost seed, this heavenly rainbow flame has no destiny with you, sneered the expert. Just then, a rainbow lotus mark appeared on this expert's forehead. He was actually starting to absorb it. The heavenly rainbow flame seed had chosen him. Courting death, Long Chen was infuriated. After putting in so much work and risking his life, someone else was planning on reaping his harvest. Furthermore, he even intentionally slandered Long Chen by calling him an underworld ghost seed. Long Chen's foot stamped down on the air. He shot past the blockade of countless experts and charged toward that person. At the same time, all experts attacking Long Chen gave up on him, and their targets switched to the heavenly rainbow flame seed. Everyone's true goal was the heavenly rainbow flame seed. Ha ha ha, it's useless. I am the one chosen by fate. The heavenly rainbow flame is mine. That person laughed and flames suddenly burst out of him. As those flames burned, his body became illusory. Along with the heavenly rainbow flame, he began to fade as if separated by space and time. Countless attacks passed right through his body as if he wasn't within the same space-time as them. Ha ha ha, I told you it's useless. The heavenly rainbow flame is mine. That person laughed arrogantly within the flames. At the same time, he looked toward Long Chen. What? Do you not like when people call you out as an underworld ghost seed? Have I hit you in your sore spot? Come and bite me then, ha ha ha. Long Chen, don't fall for it. He's just jealous and terrified of you. He's going to draw you over so that others will kill you, shouted Bai Shishi. This person was truly sinister. Long Chen had used up most of his power. If he charged over now, someone might very likely use that chance to kill him. This person was very pleased. As the flames burned around him, he continued, My flame contains spatial laws and temporal laws. This is a divine ability passed down in an ancient relic of ancient times. For a short time, even heaven tier immortal kings are unable to touch me. As for you, ha ha ha, you can only watch me absorb the heavenly rainbow flame. Long Chen, you are fated to be a loser. That person continued to provoke Long Chen as if he had some profound enmity with him. No matter how others attacked him, whether it was humans or foreign races, they were unable to touch him. They gnashed their teeth furiously. Long Chen took a deep breath and slammed his palms together. His expression instantly became solemn and serene as he began to chant. This was the Nirvana scripture. As it rang throughout the world, 
the entire world changed color countless flame runes then filled every corner of this world as for the pleased expert his expression instantly changed the flames around him began to merge with those flame runes his illusory body gradually grew solid just then seeing that he was no longer protected dozens of attacks were launched at him he didn't even have a chance to scream before being killed without leaving a trace even right before he died he was unable to comprehend how the divine ability that he was most confident in could be broken by long chen's nirvana scripture he was a generation's genius not at all inferior to mo yan and the others he had waited all the way until this moment he had also wanted to use this chance to eliminate long chen because he was truly afraid of long chen if long chen didn't die he wouldn't be able to be at ease thus he repeatedly provoked long chen as a result his scheming caused his own death with his death the heavenly rainbow flame seed became a masterless item once more countless experts charged toward it just then right below the rainbow lotus another giant lotus appeared when it appeared it ignited the entire world and wrapped around the rainbow lotus seeing it those experts charging toward the rainbow lotus instantly turned around and fled with a few reacting slightly slower and being incinerated this was long chen's world extermination flame lotus backed by the nirvana scripture its power wrapped around the heavenly rainbow flame seed long chen then stood with it his face was as pale as paper but he was excited the heavenly rainbow flame seed was shrinking until it was only the size of a hand it slowly fell into his palm just as it was about to fall into his hand another hand reached out and grabbed it long chen was enraged his bone saber was already swinging toward this person but halfway there his body suddenly shook and his head buzzed when he looked at the woman in front of him his saber fell from his hand his vision turned blurry and tears dripped down his face chapter three thousand three hundred thirty three once more seeing her she was a peerlessly beautiful woman she had long legs a slender waist and plenty of curves also her swan-like neck had a necklace of fiery red gemstones her face was like it came out of a painting and her long black hair dropped like a waterfall that reached her waist she was truly a beauty capable of causing the downfall of a nation her hand was holding the heavenly rainbow flame she was originally excited but then left dumbfounded by long chen's expression her eyes were like pools of limpid autumn waters there was a trace of guilt in them she carefully said little brother this heavenly rainbow flame is part of my life i can't give it to you can you forgive me don't feel so bad all right everyone on the battlefield was shocked to see her she was actually able to pass through that terrifying flame lotus without a hitch as for kai yu and kin feng their jaws dropped they didn't dare to believe their eyes it was the same face and the same voice it was also the old kindness that always cared about others long chen's lips moved several times but he was unable to say a single word his tears continued to stream down she was the pill fairy that was a love that came from deep within the soul a love that transcended a thousand reincarnations this was a woman that had died a thousand times just to wake him up she reappeared in front of him at this moment and long chen felt a thousand emotions he was happy yet also sad it was only when the pill fairy woke him up that he understood just how much she had sacrificed for him little brother don't cry if you really want it i can give it to you seeing long chen crying like that she bit her lips and handed the heavenly rainbow flame back to him long chen shook his head he was barely able to choke out let alone the heavenly rainbow flame even if you wanted my life i would give it to you without hesitation the woman was stunned 
She hesitantly asked, Little brother, do we know each other? Long Chen wiped away his tears. He said, Whether or not we know each other isn't important. What is important is that. I love you. Her face reddened and she suddenly smiled. How much do you love me? Seeing that familiar face, that familiar smile, Long Chen's heart was about to melt. I am willing to turn into a stone bridge for you, enduring a million years of the wind blowing, a million years of the sun basking me, a million years of the rain falling on me, just so that you can cross and I can stare at you once. Feeling even more stunned, she looked at Long Chen closely. She suddenly laughed, you're lying. A stone bridge would collapse long before a million years is up. Without seeing you, how can I possibly collapse? said Long Chen. Hearing this, she reddened even more, seemingly embarrassed. She wanted to speak but didn't know what to say. Suddenly, a rainbow jade tablet on her waist flashed. She hastily said, My time is up and I have to return. Thank you for this. What is your name? I am Long Chen. In this life, are you still Yu Qingxuan? asked Long Chen. Her eyes widened. You, you know my name? Through endless reincarnations, I finally found you, but you haven't found me. Long Chen once more began to cry. Yu Qingxuan didn't have her old memories, so Long Chen's grief filled his heart. She had done so much for him in the past, but now that she looked at him again, she was a stranger. That feeling was sorrowful. Little brother, don't cry. We, we, Yu Qingxuan didn't have a chance to finish speaking when rainbow light enveloped her. She was then sucked away by a mysterious energy, vanishing without a trace. After that, Long Chen's heart became empty. Long Chen felt the world spinning around him. A bout of weariness struck him, and waves of disappointment crashed through him. He saw Yu Qingxuan, but she didn't recognize him. However, no matter what, seeing her again was a good thing. Long Chen suddenly realized that he hadn't even asked where she came from. Which heaven was she from? Where was she so that he could find her again? Long Chen instantly felt immense regret. The heavenly rainbow flame had been taken by Yu Qingxuan, but Long Chen didn't feel the slightest pain over it. Now that he thought back, Yu Qingxuan had always possessed powerful flame fluctuations that were very similar to the heavenly rainbow flame. She even said that it was part of her life. No wonder when it fell into her hand, it directly accepted her as master. She was the true person that the heavenly rainbow flame was waiting for. Suddenly, a rumbling woke him up from his thoughts. The outside world had become a giant battlefield between the human race and these enemy races. The human race exploded with hatred against them. This was a hostility that came from the depths of their souls. This was a grudge carved into their bones. Long Chen took a deep breath. Checking his condition, he found that his spiritual Yuan was down to less than 20%. But now wasn't the time to recover. Long Chen put away the world extermination flame lotus. Summoning it had taken a great deal of his energy. He had been planning on using it to absorb the heavenly rainbow flame, but unexpectedly, Yu Qingxuan had come, completely ignoring the world extermination flame lotus's power. Perhaps this was fate. He knew that the reason Yu Qingxuan was able to enter was because the heavenly rainbow flame had summoned her. With an insider like that supporting her, she was able to slip through the world extermination flame lotus. Now that the heavenly rainbow flame had been taken, there was no point in keeping up the world extermination flame lotus. The current battlefield was chaotic. If this attack fell, it would annihilate friends and foes together. Furthermore, if he did unleash it, it would use up all his remaining spiritual yuan. Long Chen then returned to the battlefield. He saw Bai Shishi soaked in blood, killing intent erupting out of her. Like a killing goddess, she was specifically picking out the strongest experts to kill. 
not one person was able to stop her sword. She was even more ferocious than Long Chen back then, and her killing spree made those experts flee from her like the wind. However, such a fast rate of killing was definitely exhausting her spiritual yuan. In just this little bit of time, her aura had dropped quite a bit. It seemed that she had used up over half her spiritual yuan, but she was still chasing down those experts. Hey, save some energy. Don't go so crazy, shouted Long Chen as he returned to the battlefield and killed a few enemies as well, Navaloon. Come, I don't need you to look after me. My life and death have no relation to you. Bai Shishi's eyes were red from the slaughter. She didn't even look at Long Chen and continued to chase down those experts, fighting even more ferociously. Bai Xiaol, Qin Feng, Kai Yu, and Zhu Zixian followed her. Qin Feng then shrugged helplessly at Long Chen. There was nothing they could do. They would stick close to her, and if she did run out of energy in her crazy slaughter, they would be able to react. The four of them didn't even have a chance to fight. They could only follow behind by Shishi, not daring to be so careless. As for Long Chen, he knew exactly what she was thinking. This cold-faced beauty had gotten jealous and with nowhere to vent. She cast her anger out on these experts. Long Chen could only allow her to do as she pleased. He definitely didn't want to draw her displeasure. Long Chen then continued to kill some of these experts, when his gaze swept across the battlefield and he suddenly spotted a sneaky figure. As a result, his rage soared, and without a care, he charged toward that figure. Chapter 3334 Treacherous Blood Kill Hall This sneaky figure was the Yuhua Palace's Jiang Weizhong. He wasn't participating in the battle. Instead, he disguised himself as an ordinary disciple and hid amongst the corpses on the ground, looking for one particular corpse that had just been slain. That corpse was of a supreme expert from an enemy world. There was a treasure on the corpse that drew his attention. He had been looking for a while, but still hadn't found it. He then poked his head out of the corpses, just in time to see a pair of icy eyes filled with killing intent. Long Chen, Jiang Weizhong's soul almost fled his body. Throwing away any thoughts of obtaining the treasure, he fled for his life. However, just as he moved, a bone saber swung through the air, cutting him in two. Jiang Weizhong screamed. After that, Long Chen ripped off his head. Jiang Weizhong, do you know what respect is? You managed to pull your life back from the gates of hell in the Yuhua Palace, but you just had to throw yourself back in by spreading malicious rumors. Since you want to die so badly, I'll help you out. Long Chen swung his left hand through the air, causing a ring of fire to appear. He then tossed Jiang Weizhong's head inside of it. Ah! Uh, Jiang Weizhong wailed like a ghost. His soul was ignited causing him to endure the pain of his soul being roasted. In a battle for the human race, rather than fighting, you try to take advantage for your own personal gain. I fought a bloody battle against our enemies, but you called me an underworld ghost seed. Since you don't want to fight for the human race, you must not be human. Let this soul incinerating flame be your punishment for betraying the human race. Long Chen waved his hand, and four runes lit up on the ring of fire, sealing Jiang Weizhong's head. He was unable to move and could only scream. After that, Long Chen ignored him. No one could save him. Anyone who touched that ring of fire would cause Jiang Weizhong to die. If no one tried to save him, he would have to endure the pain of having his soul burn until he died. Such a despicable person had received his retribution. Long Chen then joined the battle once more, picking out experts to kill. In order to conserve his power, he didn't go all out. His divine ring was fully activated, allowing him to recover. With Lei Linger and Huo Linger, the three of them were an unstoppable force. Wherever they went, their enemies collapsed. 
the battlefield was a complete mess. The human race was fighting the other races crazily, so the earth was littered with all kinds of corpses. More and more experts were joining from all sides. Clearly, news of what was happening in the heavenly flame domain had spread, and the human race's experts were rushing over to assist. In the distance, the heavenly rainbow fairy was still suppressing those hands that had reached out of the spatial gates. The void rumbled and shook, but those hands were unable to cause a calamity. With the heavenly rainbow fairy present, the heavenly rainbow domain's experts fought fearlessly, allowing them to unleash their greatest fighting potential. After fighting and fighting, Long Chen's expression suddenly changed. With a cold snort, he swung his saber through the air, causing the void to shatter. A figure then appeared out of midair. It was a masked expert. Ludkill Hall. Startled cries rang out. That person was actually an immortal king assassin. Following that person being exposed, more figures appeared one by one. There were actually dozens of immortal kings, and they had chains that surrounded Long Chen. Cowards of the Bloodkill Hall, what are you doing? We are currently fighting the human race's enemies. Whatever personal enmities you have, settle them after the battle, shouted an immortal king. For the Bloodkill Hall's experts to target Long Chen at such a time instantly provoked everyone's anger. But none of these assassins even acknowledged that person's shout. Their chains began to glow as they murmured something in unison. Long Chen's heart suddenly pounded hard. A terrifying pressure caused him to grow extremely uneasy. So he rushed out, escaping while these chains had yet to fully seal him. Boom. However, the chains flashed and forced him back, causing him to cough up blood. A world king's power. Long Chen's expression changed. These immortal kings had come prepared, Having set up a heaven-encompassing net, it was unfortunate that he had fought for so long and run out of power, causing his spiritual perception to be no longer as sharp as his peak condition. He actually fell for such a trap without realizing it. Long Chen, just come quietly. Every chain contains faith energy. You cannot break them, sneered one of the Bloodkill Hall's immortal kings. Long Chen repeatedly struck the chains to find that this elder was saying the truth. Every chain contained the faith energy of the Bloodkill Hall, which was the divine power of Impuda. That was the power of a world king. If Long Chen was in his peak condition, he could unleash Split the Heavens and break them, but he currently didn't have enough energy to unleash Split the Heavens. But suddenly golden light flashed, cutting apart one of the chains. By she, she had come. This faith energy was unable to block the blow of her golden sword. However, after severing that chain, by she, she received a backlash and was blown back. The backlash struck her organs, causing her to almost cough up blood. By she, she was shocked and enraged, as well as remorseful. The truth was that she had clearly heard Long Chen and Yu King Shuen's conversation, and Long Chen's confession to Yu King Shuen had caused her to feel a sharp pain in her heart. Long Chen had never expressed such warmth to her, let alone pledged his undying love. Furthermore, he even gave Yu King Shuen the heavenly rainbow flame willingly, so how could Bai Shishi not be angry? Although Bai Shishi was tough with her words, Long Chen had long since appeared within her heart. It was just that she refused to admit it. Thus, witnessing that scene made her feel bitter, and yet she also couldn't say anything about it. So she unleashed her wrath on her enemies, crazily slaughtering them. The result was that she had less than 30% of her spiritual Yuan now. As for that last blow with her sword, it only shattered the chain thanks to the sharpness of the golden sword. But she paid an immense price to do so. Furthermore, it also sucked up the last bit of her energy, leaving her powerless to save Long Chen. She felt so regretful that she wanted to cry. Long Chen had even shouted at her to hold back a bit, but she had refused, 
using up all her energy to vent. Now that Long Chen needed her, she was powerless. Boom! The chains suddenly became taut, forming a perfect trap around Long Chen. Long Chen's body quivered. Invisible threads had bound every inch of his body. Long Chen roared, but no matter how he struggled, he was unable to break free. Instead, the threads merely dug into his body as he struggled, cutting him a million times. Even the golden dragon scales were unable to block them. It's useless. This faith energy is linked to the killing god. Do you really think that you can contend with the mighty killing god? You've overestimated your power. Those who blaspheme the killing god all have such an end, sneered one of the Bloodkill Hall's experts. Knowing that she was unable to break any more chains, Bai Shishi chose to attack those Bloodkill experts. But as a result, she was blown back by divine light. Blood leaked out of her mouth. This was a terrifying formation. These immortal kings had activated faith energy at the same time, linking their power. Attacking them was almost no different from attacking a world king. No. Seeing Long Chen covered in blood as he struggled, Bai Shishi charged back. But with every attack, she was blown back and injured. Even as she hacked up blood, she refused to give up. Long Chen, if I can't save you, I will die together with you. Bai Shishi wept as she fought. She really was powerless to save him. She had used up her final bit of strength. Just then, one of the blood kill experts recognized that Bai Shishi's sword was a priceless treasure. He reached out to kill her and take it. Bai Ziol and the others attacked crazily, but this was a domain created by the power of a world king. Only Bai Shishi with her golden sword was barely able to enter. The others were completely rejected. Blood kill hall, you can all die. Seeing Bai Shishi was about to lose her life, Long Chen suddenly roared. Three flower petals appeared in one of his eyes. In that instant, the entire world descended into utmost darkness. Chapter 3335 The other power in Long Chen's body, the sky darkened as if eternal night had descended. The stars were gone, and the clouds could not be seen. There was only darkness, endless darkness. Boom! The chains binding Long Chen exploded. After that, the world returned to its original appearance. Too stunned to even continue fighting, everyone turned to Long Chen. One of his eyes was closed, but the eye that was open had three flower petals revolving inside of it. It was like the movement of a dark universe. Long Chen's are also changed. It became dark, sinister, and wicked, as if he was a devil god from the depths of hell. The Bloodkill Hall's experts were stunned as their chains were destroyed. Those were chains containing an immense amount of faith energy, chains supported by the power of a world king. How could they be broken just like this? Bai Shishi was just as surprised. The current Long Chen had become icy and foreign. He was like a completely different person. As the three flower petals spun in Long Chen's eye, space shuddered. After that, those immortal kings cried out in shock and terror as they were sucked into a whirlpool. The whirlpool seemed to have invisible blades within it. As it spun, those immortal kings were torn into pieces. Most terrifying of all was that people saw their Yuan spirits. Their Yuan spirits were also being torn apart. That was the most terrifying torment. Their Yuan spirits are destroyed not returning to the heavenly Tao's. In other words, they will not enter the cycle of reincarnation after dying. Just what kind of power is this? exclaimed a shocked elder. It had to be known that even if a person's human spirit crumbled and their soul was extinguished, they would still merge back into the heavenly Tao's to go through the path of reincarnation. However, these people's bodies and human spirits were simply ground apart, and vanished into this whirlpool. It was a power that people had never seen or heard of before. 
most terrifying of all, even their memories of these people grew blurry. It was as if their very existence was being erased from their memories. Long Chen's sinister aura continued to climb, and his killing intent was brewing. Having activated the purgatory eyes once more, Long Chen was unable to fully control it. Long Chen raised his bone saber. He swung it through the air, and a black arc shot out. The giant black arc swept through the battlefield, cutting it in two. It then continued to strike a spatial gate. With a huge explosion, that spatial gate was directly blown apart. Countless experts were slain by this one move. This attack contained the power of annihilation. Just witnessing it terrified people. You are trash from the beginning until now. You were trash as a child, even when you grew and entered the path of cultivation, and even after you arrived in the immortal world. No matter how many statuses you pick for yourself, you are still trash. A sinister voice rang throughout the darkness in Long Chen's mind. That voice was icy and full of arrogance. It was like a supreme god looking down on him. You aren't Long Chen. I am. Do you see? This is true power. As for your power, it is nothing more than a huge joke. A spatial gate had been destroyed, and countless enemy experts were slain. Within the loud and intense rumbling, that voice appeared particularly aloof. Such a powerful cultivation technique has been cultivated by you into such garbage. After tiptoeing like a coward around everything, are you still a man? The voice was like furious thunder raging in Long Chen's mind. Long Chen felt his will falling into oblivion. He suddenly felt tired, so incredibly tired. He needed to sleep. Long Chen, wake up. Within this daze, a voice rang out in Long Chen's mind, waking him up. Furthermore, at this time, he found that his saber was pointed toward the heavens, a black saber image brewing. He was about to unleash split the heavens. Black ripples spread from the nine heavens, covering the world. It seemed that the power of this single attack could destroy an entire world. Bai Shishi and the others were staring in horror at Long Chen. Just now, when Long Chen raised his saber, it felt like they had fallen into hell. All life forms within heaven and earth were locked down by that saber. If that saber fell, not a single person here would survive. No matter how Bai Shishi and the others had shouted at him, Long Chen didn't seem to be able to hear them. He was like an entirely different person that was hell-bent on destroying the world. Long Chen himself was stunned. Just when did he become capable of controlling such terrifying power? Just what had happened? Long Chen, you cannot commune with that power. It will devour your mind, turning you into a mindless killer, a puppet that only desires to kill. The heavenly rainbow fairy's voice rang out in his mind. It was she who had woken him up at that critical moment. As his will recovered, the black energy in the heavens slowly dissipated. Only then did people sigh with relief, but they were soaked in icy sweat. Just now, they had been paralyzed. The life forms of the other worlds were also terrified. When they escaped the lock of that attack, they immediately fled back into their spatial gates, vanishing without a trace. Only now do I understand why I am unable to see your future. You possess both the power of creation and destruction. Good and evil are decided by a single thought. Long Chen, there is a problem with you. You are starting to become unable to suppress that sinister energy. If this continues, you will be devoured by it sooner or later. I am only able to wake you up this one time. In the future, you'll need to rely on yourself. The heavenly rainbow fairy's voice rang out in Long Chen's mind. Long Chen looked toward her, and his expression completely changed. At some point, while she was suppressing the black hands, blood-colored marks had appeared over her entire body. She seemed to be infected by some evil energy. Long Chen suddenly had a bad feeling. 
he instinctively charged toward her all of a sudden the void was torn apart a giant gaping mouth descended from the nine heavens a mouth that could devour the sun moon and stars violent flame energy then erupted within it it was as if the entire universe would be ignited yansu long chen recognized this aura this was the yanzu that had appeared in the battle that the heavenly rainbow fairy had shown him at that time the heavenly rainbow fairy had managed to give him a serious wound now it was back and a million thoughts ran through long chen's mind he instantly realized that this was all a sinister scheme yan zu's scheme its goal was to devour the heavenly rainbow fairy everyone was terrified once more that mouth was capable of devouring the entire heavenly rainbow domain in front of it they seemed incredibly minuscule long chen flung a chain around the heavenly rainbow fairy's waist and pulled with all his power long chen knew that this mouth was not a real mouth it was some kind of spatial art being used from a great distance away as long as he didn't allow the heavenly rainbow fairy to be devoured yan zu would be helpless to do anything however as those blood-colored marks quivered on her body she began to involuntarily move toward the mouth it was unknown if it was due to fighting the black hands for so long but she appeared incredibly weak at this moment long chen pulled as hard as he could but he was actually dragged along with her he shouted are you all not going to help only then did people recover from their shock Huo Linger transformed into long chains that allowed all the human experts to pull. Rumbling rang out as the millions and millions of experts in the heavenly rainbow domain pulled with all their might. The heavenly rainbow fairy had fallen into that mouth, but was now dragged back. Just as everyone was cheering as they pulled, they heard a huge explosion. After that, the heavenly rainbow fairy's body crumbled, transforming into flame runes. No, countless people let out harp-rending cries when they saw that scene. Chapter 3336 Final Smile The Heavenly Rainbow Fairy's Body Crumbled Seeing this, Long Chen was enraged, and he looked toward the ancient capital. The towering statue of the Heavenly Rainbow Fairy was also crumbling someone had actually snuck in and destroyed her statue as the city was protected by a grand formation that prevented foreign races from entering this must have been done by a human the heavenly rainbow fairy's statue was destroyed having lost the support of her faith energy her body dispersed the chains were unable to hold her and she transformed into millions of rainbow runes that were devoured by that mouth no Long Chen roared. He opened his left eye once more, the three flower petals reappearing. But before he could use the power of the purgatory eyes, an illusory figure appeared in front of him. It was the heavenly rainbow fairy. I am not your family or an old acquaintance. There's no need for you to go all out like this. You should know that if you use that power again, you will very likely die. The heavenly rainbow fairy looked at Long Chen tenderly, like a warm big sister looking at her brash little brother. Every kind life should be treated with warmth. I won't watch as you die, shouted Long Chen. In truth, even he didn't know why he was acting like this. But he was unable to just watch as she died in front of him. Even if it was only the faintest hope, he had to try it. As for the danger, he no longer cared. The heavenly rainbow fairy smiled. That smile was very warm. Good. For you to be able to think like this, I'm at ease. Don't feel bad. As a spirit of heaven and earth, I am like the snow in winter. When spring comes, the snow will naturally melt. When winter comes, the snow will fall once more. Flowers bloom and wither. Are you going to remember every single snowflake? The snow of last year might not be the snow of this year, but there is essentially no difference. As long as you care about her, any snowflake is her. 
the heavenly rainbow fairy smiled sweetly and rubbed long chen's cheek gently this is all fate i have long since predicted this result but i'm very happy that little girl who took the heavenly rainbow flame has the spiritual mark of the last generation's heavenly rainbow flame it will definitely be able to unleash exceptional brilliance in her hands my mission can also be considered complete as for you you have even brought me a nice surprise i cannot see your future but i trust that it will definitely not be lacking suddenly that mouth clamped shut devouring all the rainbow runes after that the heavenly rainbow fairy's figure vanished the final bit of her heroic spirit was gone ah uh, long chen raised his head and roared like a wounded beast his killing intent exploded with a flash he appeared within the ancient city long chen spread his hand and flame energy exploded transforming into chains that wrapped around the necks of dozens of experts in the city raising them into the air why 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 did the heavenly rainbow fairy sacrifice her own life to protect the human race but you cannot even let off the final bit of her discarnate soul are you devils long chen's voice was dripping with killing intent his face was frightening he clenched his teeth so hard that they almost shattered it was these people that had joined forces to break her statue while everyone was fighting their joint enemies losing the statue was like losing her foundation that was what resulted in the final trace of her discarnate soul falling hatred overflowed from long chen's heart the heavenly rainbow fairy had done so much for the human race but what did she gain in the end tell me long chen roared a terrifying kai wave directly blew apart those experts their physical bodies crumbled and their yuan spirits were wrapped by flames just that one roar almost shattered their yuan spirits long chen went crazy with rage although the heavenly rainbow fairy had said that this was fate he refused to believe in fate if it hadn't been for the heavenly rainbow fairy's statue shattering causing her faith energy to dissipate she might not have died even in her death she didn't blame anyone her kindness made it so that long chen could not possibly forgive these brutes long chen calm down don't kill them you cannot let them die like this shouted the experts from the heavenly rainbow domain they were crying their hatred for these people was not at all inferior to long chen's long chen unleashed a palm crushing the head of one of his captives this immortal king's you in spirit shattered long chen used the most brutal most barbaric method to conduct a soul search as a result he didn't see any useful information but he did see a figure lord brahma you brute just wait long chen roared this person was actually lord brahma's follower then everything was very clear these immortal kings only had their human spirits left they looked in terror at the people around them now the loon come there were now countless experts glaring at them looking like they wanted to bite them to death the heavenly rainbow fairy's statue was destroyed and the rainbow light in the sky was also gone this signified that the heavenly rainbow fairy was truly gone that made the experts of this domain explode with killing intent you are all people from the heavenly rainbow domain you've all received the benevolence of the heavenly rainbow fairy without her you wouldn't have your current accomplishments but you you actually an elder pointed at them quivering with rage but he was unable to finish his words due to his sobs these people were all natives of the heavenly rainbow domain that was what made these elders feel the worst they could not accept this the people that the heavenly rainbow fairy had protected were ultimately those that harmed her long chen don't kill them leave them to us killing them is letting them off too easily we'll make them beg for death we'll make them repent for their sins for eternity said an immortal king while clenching his teeth furiously 
amongst the captives was a skinny elder who sneered even if you kill us we're not afraid we're loyal to divine venerate brahma as long as divine venerate brahma lives as long as we are loyal even if we fall into the path of reincarnation he will bring us back we will still be powerful experts a h before he was done an expert stabbed his yuan spirit with a sword smoke then came out of his body and he screamed this soul-chasing thorn of mine finally has a use i'm willing to offer it up for everyone to use so that every human can extract their toll from your bodies said that expert hatefully starting today i long chen cannot exist under the same heavens as lord brahma all followers of lord brahma will be hunted to the last the heavenly rainbow fairy was noble and holy she did so much for the human race but ultimately fell to the human race's hands where is heaven's justice if this world has no justice then i am willing to become a devil even if i must fall to hell i do not mind declared long chen despite overflowing with killing intent he didn't kill these traitors these people were left to the heavenly rainbow domains experts that was because they had more reason to hate these ingrates than him long chen then looked around the city the outside of the city was in ruins the battle was over but there were mountains of corpses and rivers of blood flowing at this moment a wave of dizziness suddenly struck long chen his vision darkened the last thing he heard was bai shishi's cry as he collapsed chapter three thousand three hundred thirty seven heart devil within an endless darkness in which he felt like he was eternally falling long chen stared at the figure in front of him he couldn't see it but he could feel it as he looked at this figure in the darkness it also seemed to look back at him you trash the same voice rang out it was the same voice as long chen's but it was icy arrogant and disdainful it was like that of a god speaking down on him if i'm trash but you are suppressed by me what does that make you long chen shook his head at that figure after a moment that figure said you're a hypocrite you bind yourself with so-called morality and virtue if it weren't for that would this battle have ended like this what can virtue and character do can they protect you can they protect the people that you want to protect if you allowed me to control this body the heavenly rainbow fairy wouldn't have died what meaning does kindness have the heavenly rainbow fairy died to protect the human race but the final trace of her discarnate soul was destroyed at the hands of the human race aha isn't that funny someone like you will sooner or later follow the same path as her i won't let trash like you control this body i will wrest control over this body from you and show you what it means to go on a rampage what it means to sweep through all those who block you what it means to follow me and prosper but defy me and die long chen didn't reply he hadn't expected this he had finally produced a heart devil and it was growing stronger and stronger under the nourishment of the dark energy this hard devil could control the dark energy when he used the purgatory eyes he was using that dark power this time he had lost control because of his complete rage at the blood hill hall's treacherous ways it left an opening in his will for his heart devil to erupt if it hadn't been for the heavenly rainbow fairy waking him up then under the control of his heart devil by shishi and the others would probably have died in his hands this so-called heart devil was when two wills appeared in one person it was an embodiment of a contradiction within a person many people who appeared strong on the outside actually felt inferior inside so that toughness was just to cover up that feeling of inferiority one part felt like they were omnipotent the other part felt that they were useless as these contradictory feelings arose the heart devil would become the greatest blockade when attempting to advance realms a heart devil indicated that a person's mental realm was no longer clear their will was no longer one 
a fiend hiding deep within your soul that might come out and try to kill you at any moment was naturally terrifying long chen had always thought that he acted as he thought and thus was protected from a heart devil unexpectedly it really did appear furthermore it was many times stronger than him however he didn't feel much fear he just quietly looked at it without saying a word why aren't you speaking are you afraid you're too cowardly you aren't fit to control this body sneered that figure the first time you appeared should have been in the netherworld right when zai kai and kian and i escaped purgatory when we were definitely going to die you appeared but you were suppressed again by evil moon correct said long chen calmly you knew the voice rang out with a touch of surprise of course i knew ever since i left purgatory i felt a bit off but i also wasn't able to figure out what exactly felt off i actually thought i was influenced by the laws of purgatory resulting in my mental state becoming a bit disordered so i didn't mind it then in the final battle of the martial heaven continent i used that dark energy and i sensed you at the time you didn't make any move later i began testing using the dark energy through the three flower pupils i deliberately acted very stupidly continuously failing eventually you simply couldn't keep watching that so you worked together with me so that i could control the dark energy this was your scheme you wanted me to use more of the dark energy giving you more chances to corrode my will the reason my control over my emotions frayed is also due to your influence when my mind is undisciplined you take advantage to control my body if i were to fall asleep just before you would have become the master of this body if it hadn't been for the heavenly rainbow fairy you would have basically succeeded said long chen still as calm as ever h m p h that woman was meddlesome otherwise i could have gone through the spatial gates and slaughtered the dark life forms of those domains at that time i long chen would dominate the ten thousand races within heaven and earth only i would reign supreme who would dare to resist me there would no longer be a useless coward like you who suffers humiliation from all sides you've practically humiliated the name of long chen raged that voice so what if you subdue the ten thousand races so what if you reign supreme you are going to sacrifice my brothers for that are you an animal cursed long chen are those useless brothers and women of yours the slightest bit useful they are only stumbling blocks to getting stronger without them you would be truly free only then can you reach the peak of the world as fast as possible now you are being a fool with them and you want to curse others raged that voice in your eyes are absolute power and supreme authority all that matters when you stand at the peak you will find that when you are happy there is no one to share it with when you are sad there is no one to comfort you all that people will feel toward you is fear is that what you wanted asked long chen what a joke true experts all want absolute power as long as you have power you can have anything you want don't share my joy i'll kill you don't listen to my sorrows i'll kill you i am the master of the world the ten thousand daos must obey me who dares to not follow fuck off i can't be bothered to talk to you i am the master you are a heart devil you will always be suppressed by me do you think that i'm giving you face by talking to you raged long chen originally he had been hoping to communicate with his heart devil and see if they could come to some resolution but instead he was so infuriated he felt like he might explode bullshit if it weren't for me you would already be dead who do you think you are to act like some big wig i am the master of the dark energy if you have guts then don't use my power for the rest of your lifetime 
Otherwise, every time you use my power, it is my turn to control the body, roared that figure, also infuriated. Then let's just see what happens. Yes, let's see. Long Chen suddenly sat up from his bed, so suddenly that Bai Ziol and the others cried out. He was originally in a deep slumber, and he sat up so suddenly that they almost took out their weapons. But what is it? asked Kin Feng worriedly, seeing Long Chen's eyebrows pointed down angrily. I'm fine. It was a dream. I saw some idiot that pissed me off. Long Chen took a deep breath and flapped his hand, indicating that he was fine. This heart devil really irritated him. According to reason, a heart devil was another portion of his will. If it was part of him, he should be able to communicate with it. But this one conversation had made him want to kill it. Suddenly, one of Long Chen's tablets flashed. Long Chen's heart leaped. We are immediately returning to the vile dragon domain. Chapter 3338 Leaving the Heavenly Rainbow Domain After coming out of his private room, Long Chen saw thousands of immortal kings from the Heavenly Rainbow Domain. They were all representatives of their sects that had participated in the battle, and they possessed their own backgrounds and statuses. Altogether, they represented almost the whole heavenly rainbow domain's core forces. When they saw that Long Chen was still wearing a night patch, they sighed. In the battle, Long Chen had used a kind of pupil art to try to forcibly save the heavenly rainbow fairy. At that time, Blood had flowed out of his eye, and it had even become covered in cracks. Clearly, that technique exceeded his limits. Hence, they thought that his eye was probably permanently damaged. Seeing that eye patch, they were all very grateful to him. It could be said that Long Chen had done his utmost to save the Heavenly Rainbow Fairy. They had all witnessed him be willing to even throw his life away for her. Dean Long Chen... Your injuries aren't fully healed yet. Why don't you stay a bit longer in the heavenly rainbow domain? Don't worry whether it's the Nine Underworld Hall, the Bloodkill Hall, or any others. If they dare to come, we will fight to the death against them, said an elder. His aura was quite heavy. Moreover, others looked at him reverently. This person definitely possessed a certain authority within the heavenly rainbow domain. However, while his aura was terrifying, his blood kai had started to decline. He was already on a downhill path, and his longevity was about to run out. If Long Chen's guess was correct, he was an earth tier, a mortal king, a figure on the level of a living fossil. Senior is too courteous. The heavenly rainbow fairy gave me her favor first, and then even lent a helping hand to me. But I could only watch as she died. I feel terrible, said Long Chen apologetically. Despite everything, he still felt very guilty over her death. He felt like he had a responsibility. The heavenly rainbow fairy will never die. As long as we reconstruct her divine statue and worship her every day, she will return, said that elder confidently. He was clearly a devout follower of the heavenly rainbow fairy. Long Chen sighed inside. He couldn't bear to tell them that the heavenly rainbow fairy was gone forever. She would never be back. It was just as she said. The snow was still snow, but was this year's snow the same as yesterday's snow? However, her words also contained the grandeur of a wise sage. Although she was no longer present, her teachings would remain and continue to be passed down from generation to generation. Perhaps when the new snow fell, it would continue to be sacred and holy. Could that new snow take her place? Looking at these elders, Long Chan suddenly felt like he somehow understood the true meaning of her words. He felt even greater reverence for her now. You are right. As long as you still have her in your heart, the heavenly rainbow fairy will definitely return. Long Chen nodded. Hearing that, the heavenly rainbow domain's experts were very happy. It was unacceptable for others to question their firm belief. Long Chen, 
we will all testify for you that the rumor of you being an underworld ghost seed is simply slander. Anyone who questions you will be viewed as our enemy. Someone that the heavenly rainbow fairy chose couldn't possibly be an underworld ghost seed. By suspecting you, they are suspecting the heavenly rainbow fairy. We won't allow such a thing, said that elder solemnly. Previously, the matter of the underworld ghost seed had caused quite a few turbulent waves, making people nervous. After all, how could they determine the truth? With the powers like the Nine Underworld Hall and the Bloodkill Hall pushing the rumor on, it had quite the effect. Through an investigation, it was found that this rumor was started by the Yuhua Palace's Jiang Weizhong. Although Jiang Weizhong was already dead, once a rumor spread, it was like wildfire. Starting a rumor was easy, but putting it out was difficult. Most troublesome of all was that Long Chen had used the power of the purgatory ice cured in the heavenly rainbow domain. That terrifying destructive power was very similar to the sinister energy of the dark life forms. It was very easy for people to question him. Thankfully, the heavenly rainbow domain had started the process of refuting this rumor. Anyone who dared to spread it would be executed. But this rumor had long since spread to other domains. The heavenly rainbow domain's experts could only testify for Long Chen, but they had no actual proof. Just the attitude of the heavenly rainbow fairy toward Long Chen was not enough. Long Chen smiled. Seniors have been troubled. There's no need to mind those rumors. I have never cared about such things. If others believe those rumors and attack me, then I never care whether their intentions are good or bad. I will still kill them all. I am unable to embody the kindness of the heavenly rainbow fairy that forgives even people who harm her. And I have never wanted to become some virtuous sage. Anyone who tries to take my life, I will cut them down mercilessly. Seniors, please don't waste your effort on those rumors. If you have the extra time, properly raise your disciples. This world's era of peace is probably about to end. We cannot always hope for others to protect us. We must be strong ourselves in order to survive. Everyone nodded. This time, the battle that had occurred here was extremely odd, so odd, that it made people uneasy. Long Chen knew Yan Zhu, and he knew Lord Brahma's power. But not everyone knew so many secrets. Long Chen could only warn them, but not tell them too much to avoid some unexpected karma befalling them. The heavenly rainbow domain's experts wanted him to stay longer, but Long Chen tactfully refused. They then brought him to the plaza. The statue had been destroyed, but craftsmen were working on rebuilding it. Long Chen then came to the same place he had gone before and bowed deeply. It was a kind of goodbye. After that, all the heavenly rainbow domain's experts sent him off. They provided him with a luxurious flying boat. Originally, Long Chen tried to refuse them, but they refused to let him leave without it. In order to make sure that he was safe, they even put up fake information of him leaving in five different directions, while he actually left through a secret passage. Long Chen had been unconscious for three days. During these three days, the matter of this immense battle had rapidly spread. This was a huge affair that drew countless people's attention. But the most shocking thing was how Long Chen had killed those dark life forms and displayed such shocking combat power. The most worrisome thing to the heavenly rainbow domain's experts was that Long Chen had declared that he would destroy the Nine Underworld Hall and the Bloodkill Hall. He had even declared war on Lord Brahma. Those were existences that shook countless old monsters. Long Chen was instantly pushed into the most dangerous position. Furthermore, the rumor of him being an underworld ghost seed also drew the attention of countless monsters. That was why the heavenly rainbow domain's experts went to such great pains to keep where he was going a secret. Long Chen, do you hate me? If you want to curse me, then curse me. 
within the flying boat, by Shishi's pretty face was red. She lowered her head, her tears falling like a pearl necklace that was cut. Chapter 3339 Unfathomable Long Chen was startled. He hadn't expected Bai Shishi to suddenly say such a thing. Bai Xiaol and the others were also surprised. But Kin Feng quickly dragged Bai Xiaol and the others away, leaving only Long Chen and Bai Shishi in this room. What are you talking about? Why would I hate you? asked Long Chen, feeling puzzled. You told me to save my energy so that I could save you at a critical time, but I... I... Here, Bai Shishi was too choked up to even continue speaking. During the days that Long Chen was unconscious, Long Chen's I would occasionally have fresh blood flow out of it. No one was capable of stopping it. When the experts of the heavenly rainbow domain said that Long Chen would probably lose this eye, her heart fractured. If she hadn't been so willful at the time and had conserved her power, then with the golden sword's sharpness, she would have been able to save Long Chen at that crucial moment. However, due to her anger, she had ended up wasting her precious energy to hunt down her enemies, leaving her powerless to save Long Chen from those chains. If Long Chen's eye really was permanently damaged, she didn't know what she would do. She had never felt such regret in her life. Long Chen was speechless. He had never seen her cry so much, so he wiped away her tears. Does that have anything to do with you? You already did great. When I asked for your help, you came right on time. As for the Bloodkill Hall's formation, it was outside of expectations. Neither of us can see the future, so don't cry. No one could do anything about this unexpected trap. You really don't blame me? Bai Shi, she looked at Long Chen, curiously. Of course not. Why would I blame you? Asked Long Chen, feeling that it was funny. If it was me, I would blame you because you didn't listen, said Bai Shi. Shi. If, for a moment, Long Chen didn't know how to reply. He truly had never blamed her. At that time, even he had thought that the most critical moment had passed. For Bai Shishi to go all out was correct. As for the Bloodkill Hall's attack, even he wasn't prepared for it. How could he blame others for it? You didn't speak to me this entire time and just looked out the window. You say that you don't blame me, but you definitely hate me inside, said Bai Shishi. Long Chen didn't know whether to laugh or cry. With no one else around, he had her sit. Seeing her crying, he sighed. Why are you sighing? Bai Shishi looked at Long Chen with red eyes. Because looking at you cry, I feel like I've committed a sin, said Long Chen. Why? Probed Bai Shishi. Just now, when I was looking out the window, I was thinking of her. When she was mentioned, Bai Shishi lowered her head. After a moment, she said, she really is beautiful. Bai Shishi had always been confident in her looks. Although she didn't dare to say that she was unrivaled beneath the heavens, amongst all the women that she knew she was unmatched. This wasn't something that she was arrogant about, but she was quite confident in her looks. Yu Qingxuan was the first woman who could be compared to her in looks. Furthermore, she appeared warm and kind. Compared to Bai Shishi's cold, aloof, and somewhat domineering character, Yu Qingxuan was a completely different existence. Furthermore, Bai Shishi also knew that her character wasn't one that others liked. She had never cared before, but now that Long Chen brought her up, she felt inferior. When it comes to looks, she might be able to reach you. But you don't know the story between her and me. If you don't mind me being long-winded, I wish to share this story with you, said Long Chen softly. Hearing that, Bai Shishi wiped away her tears and nodded. She truly did want to know. Kin Feng and Kai Yu also knew that woman, but when she privately asked them about her, the two refused to answer, telling her that she had to find their boss for answers. Long Chen looked out at the scenery speeding by outside the window. 
He slowly told Bai Shishi how he had first met Yu Qingxun. He told her about how he had snuck his way into Pill Valley, how they had encountered Wan King, and how when his identity was revealed, Yu Qingxun gave him her own status plate to help him escape. He told her everything relating to Yu Qingxuan, other than his identity as a nine-star heir. No wonder I had a strange feeling when I first saw you. I've already fallen in love with you for a thousand reincarnations. Every time, I would die like this in front of you. These thousand reincarnations are all to wake you up from the red dust. But this time, I know that I won't have to reincarnate again. I can feel that you've already awakened. In every reincarnation, I am unable to awaken my memories while alive. It is only before my death that I can remember. Long Chen, I've loved you for a thousand lifetimes. You must find me. In life or death, you must find me. When Long Chen told her about the final battle of the Martial Heaven Continent and how Yu Qingxuan had fallen in front of him, when he repeated her final words to him, Long Chen himself couldn't stop his tears. Bai Shishi was already weeping. Only now did she learn that Yu Qingxuan and Long Chen had such a tragic history. It was no wonder that he would be so emotional to see her again. It's not just Qingxuan. There are also Meng Kai, Chu Yao, Wan Er, Jikyu, Xiopian, Minjiu, Yuan, Kanyu. Every single one of them loves me deeply. Even if I were to tear my body apart, I could not repay their feelings for me. Even a thousand lifetimes wouldn't be enough to repay them. Which woman is willing to share their lover with others? But for me, they are willing to make this sacrifice. So after entering the immortal world, I have no intention of sowing wild oats. I don't want to hurt any of them. Long Chen looked at Bai Shishi with a complicated expression. Although he had been very careful, from Bai Shishi's attitude he would be an idiot if he couldn't see certain things. Furthermore, Bai Shishi had also kept a certain distance from him from the start, not wanting a romantic relationship to develop. But love was something that couldn't be decided logically. It was like a seed filled with magical power, no matter how you monitored it, no matter how you controlled it, one slip up and it would sprout. Today, Long Chen confessed to Bai Shishi, telling her that he had many lovers. What Bai Shishi wanted, he couldn't give her. What are you talking about? Are you trying to pull me into your group? Bai Shishi bit her lips. She didn't even dare to look at Long Chen right now. Well, the main thing isn't whether or not you are willing to join, but whether or not you can be managed, said Long Chen awkwardly. Do you think that you're very rare? You think that I would fall for you? Bai Shishi suddenly stood up, stepping on Long Chen's foot hard and ran off. Long Chen bitterly smiled. Bai Shishi didn't answer, not agreeing or disagreeing. She was still unfathomable. But for a prideful woman like Bai Shishi to follow him like that was probably very difficult. Bai Shishi would perhaps be more suited to having a brotherly relationship. But was there really such a pure relationship between men and women in this world? That was difficult to say. Boss, the vile dragon domain is up ahead. Kin Feng's voice rang out. Hearing this, Long Chen was instantly invigorated. Excellent. I can finally formally take up the position of the Dean of the High Firmament Academy's seventh branch. Favorite. Chapter 3340 Pool of Dragons, Nest of Tigers. When they got close to the Vile Dragon Domain, they activated the Flying Boat's camouflage system. This was an extremely high grade flying boat with many abilities that would make others sigh over it. Camouflage was one of its abilities. However, this was truly hiding but was simply flying silently while covering up any aura. It would then reflect the surrounding scenery. Without looking closely, it would seem as if the flying boat was merged with heaven and earth. However, this also greatly reduced the flying speed. But Long Chen wasn't in a rush. 
It just so happened that he needed some time. Thus, Long Chen's aura suddenly began to rise. Kin Feng and the others jumped in shock and hastily activated the flying boat's formations for him. After that, a rumbling rang out within the flying boat. Long Chen's aura poured out as if it had escaped a dam, no matter how Long Chen tried to control it. He couldn't stop it. He had advanced to the fourth heaven stage of the Four Peak Realm. It had to be known that he had just entered the third heaven stage when he arrived in the heavenly rainbow domain. Now, in just a few days, he reached the fourth heaven stage. This speed was truly shocking. The fourth heaven stage was also the mid-stage. This time, his aura grew immensely. His physical body was also strengthened, as well as the flames of his 108,000 stars. His aura only stabilized after a full two hours. Long Chen then took a deep breath. If he had fully unleashed his aura in the flying boat, it would have exploded. Fortunately, this flying boat was strong enough that his aura didn't leak and disturb the surrounding life forms. If Boss had reached the mid stage in the heavenly rainbow domain, it would have been much easier, said Zhu Zixin. Long Chen shook his head. Even if I had reached the mid stage, that battle wouldn't have gone any differently. Everything was arranged before our arrival. He understood Zhu Zixin's meaning, but he knew that even if he had been in the mid stage, he would not have the power to reverse the tides. Yan Zhu treated the heavenly rainbow fairy as a must have, and Long Chen couldn't stop such a terrifying existence. However, the reason why Yan Zhu had devoured the heavenly rainbow fairy but not the heavenly rainbow flame was unknown. Long Chen's only guess was that it might be related to faith energy, or perhaps the heavenly rainbow fairy had something else that Yan Zhu urgently needed. Although Yan Zhu had only appeared through the void, its power had caused the 10,000 Daos to collapse. That terrifying power deeply shook Long Chen. That was the most terrifying power he had ever seen before. Yan Zhu hadn't been targeting him, but a single thought from it could destroy him, or perhaps destroy the entire heavenly rainbow domain. However, it hadn't done so. That gave off the stench of a scheme. But for now, Long Chen couldn't figure it out. The flying boat slowly advanced. Long Chen also consolidated his aura, adapting to his new power as fast as possible. Boss, what are we doing back in the vile dragon domain? asked Kai Yu. Bai Shishi had returned to her previous iciness. She sat beside the window with her eyes closed. No one knew what she was thinking but she seemed to have forgotten their previous awkwardness. Seeing that, Long Chen was relieved. He said, naturally, it's to ignite the Divine Tower and restore the Seventh Branch Academy. Last time, I managed to imprint the Divine Rune on the Foundation Stone. As for the altar in Jaming Ancient City, while they burn the altar, the energy stones activate and their energy will then be absorbed by the Divine Rune. The divine rune has already germinated within the foundation stone. During this time, Jiang Yu and the others have followed their promise. People have been working every day to activate the foundation stone, so it's already awakened. All that's left is to place the divine tower on the foundation stone, and it will ignite. Then everything will be done. Hearing this explanation, Everyone came to understand Long Chen's plan. He had made his calculations long in advance. Are you not worried about them breaking the altar or doing something to it? Asked Bai Shishi suddenly. Seeing Bai Shishi looking at him as if nothing had happened between them, Long Chen's expression was a bit odd. He laughed, of course I'm not afraid. The altar itself isn't a problem. They can investigate it as they please as the energy stones aren't in it. Burning the altar activates the formation inside of it, which then activates the energy stones through space. Even if people find that the altar is strange, they definitely can't find the energy stones. So, 
even if it had been a failure there would have been no loss furthermore that formation was extremely crude it looks just like something a fool did to mess around they can study it all they want without finding any clues boss is wise kin fen laughed delightedly long chen really did make things airtight when he handled things don't be in a rush to flatter me although things have been arranged well i have no assurance at all that it can succeed that devil i water lily definitely went insane after what happened last time it knows that we might come back so it probably has some special defenses waiting for us said long chen the flying boat slowly flew over vile dragon valley everything was as it had been here as if nothing had ever happened but it was precisely due to this that people started to have bad feelings past the vile dragon valley was the gloomy forest to be safe long chen had everyone consume an aura concealing pill to further keep themselves hidden boss why don't we put away the flying boat and walk there that might be a safer choice suggested by Ziol. this flying boat was gigantic and even the camouflage system couldn't guarantee it would not be sensed iran whether it is vile dragon valley or that sinister forest everything is under their surveillance anyone who enters will immediately be sensed the undying race's intelligence isn't high and they have one track minds they definitely think that we will follow our old path said long chen after being in contact with lee ryan for so long although she had never been friendly with him he could tell what kind of character she had she was essentially someone who had never used their brain or perhaps it should be said that she could not come at things from a different angle the one time that he had called her wood-brained she had almost killed him thus long chen had a general understanding of the undying race and he was sure that the devil i water lily was just as wood-brained otherwise it wouldn't have allowed long chen to cut off its seed pod the flying boat gradually slowed down and they quickly reached the crater where that ancient corpse was buried they could see through the flying boat's formation all of a sudden long chen and the others gasped at the edge of that crater were countless black dragons patrolling through the dark they were like vipers waiting for prey and not the slightest aura leaked out of them within the pool the devil i water lily appeared rather listless without its seed pod long chen then saw several dark figures down in the pool but he didn't dare to probe them spiritually for fear of being sensed clearly the devil i water lily had found reinforcements it was probably still thinking of regaining its seed pod long chan already had jiang yu and the others spread the word that they were going to reclaim the ruins the devil i water lily definitely believed those rumors which was why it was patiently waiting it's like i dug my own grave this time long chen felt helpless those rumors he had spread were originally just for tricking his enemies but the devil i water lily actually took it seriously now it might be troublesome the surroundings were filled with tens of thousands of black dragons but long chen couldn't retreat he slowly sent the flying boat toward the foundation stone 